Hey, nerds. Join us on Discord and hit that subscribe button. Hello, everyone. I'm Thessaly. Oma. Brother Brim. Kellek. Flynn. Zika. And I'm your DM, Ethan. Welcome to Venture Forth. Previously, after a long rest within the home of <laughs> Oma's family, you all had begun your trek to the mountain in the woods. Although you hadn't gotten very far, as <laughs> it was you were walking, it was a short walk. <laughs> it as you were passing the through the front center front. of town <laughs> as you heard a voice shout out to you, and you turned to see Warden Barrett Hastel. Mm. As he approached you, you heard clicks from the rooftops as dwarven guards. Um, train their crossbows on all of you, mm -hmm. and Artemisia, along with four mages of the Order of the Red Wolf, teleported <laughs> in to surround you as well. Fighting broke out. We are about halfway through the first round of combat. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, as Wait. we begin, um, we have Brim that just finished his turn. Mm. Next up, we have a couple of mages. Um, let me see. Olma and Seeker. Kellek, you are preoccupied with Warden. Oh, Olma <laughs> and <laughs> Seeker. Um, you move. turn and you see this mage directly behind you as he turns to the both of you and starts swirling his hands back oh. and forth, creating this, this swirling ball of fire within both of his hands. And as he bursts his hands forward, this fire comes rushing to you and Seeker goes directly towards you as this massive ball of fire Boom, redirects yep. and goes directly over your shoulder. Yeah. Let's go. And he is absorbed go. into yeah. the totem. Totem! Oh, as down. You, and if you can keep track of this, yes. as now a third level fireball has been stored within <laughs> third the, level. Yeah. the... Wait, that kind of is awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, just gonna blast who was that? Just, for, for that, was, <laughs> that was uh, right the, the, the mage that was on the ground okay. directly in front of Olin right and Seeker. Yeah. Um, Next up is, in tandem, the other mage that is not within the radius. He is Probably on right. a rooftop right in front. Mm -hmm. um, he is going to, in a very similar fashion, sort of uh, clap his hands together and rub them together. And as he does, you can see these icicles forming on the outside of his hands as he pushes them forward, forming a triangle in front of him. That is going to be... A constitution saving throw. Karen of Karu. As he casts Cone of yeah. Cold. <laughs> uh, constitution saving throw for the Warren, Kellek, Olma, Seeker, <laughs> and Thess. Am, am I at advantage because Me? I'm invisible? It is a, uh, I believe it's a constitution saving throw, so is it is not. Seeker within no. 10 feet of me? I, I can. Uh, Seeker is, no, he would be if you were on the ground, but you are I'm in the up, air. I am. I'm you are one in story the air. up. Um, Sorry. You're only 10 feet up, right? So one story. Yeah, but I'm ten feet up and I'm ten feet down. This guy. Yes. 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 So oh, the warden, <laughs> Kellek, Olma, and Seeker, all making Constitution saving throws. Okay. I hate my whole life. <laughs> oh no! no, no. Really... What kind of save is this? Come on! Uh, come on! Okay, so let's see. Not good. Wait. <laughs> no. Yep. Not good. Okay. Very bad. Um, I'm I'm not <laughs> in this, right? No. Okay. Good. And say maybe he's low enough that his spell safety is. He's a level uh -huh. one mage. He's a level one. Yeah, yeah he's got cold and cold. He's a level one. Spell one. Scroll. The one just did a third level <laughs> fireball. I mean, does one d four? I was hope I might say I did. The say other it. one just did a third I, level okay. fireball. Okay. So. Uh, Kellick. Eleven. Um, Thessaly. Fourteen. Seeker. I rolled a dirty twenty. Oh. And Good. Olma. Twenty-one. Nice. Twenty-one. Okay, okay. so Good. everyone except for Kellick succeeds. Oh. It is a warden. Uh, yes, it does. Yes. Which he also succeeded. No, um, it's still half though, I think. Yes, I it is fun. still half. That's still some damage on him, which is good. So that is going to be, oh, so many D8s, I love it. Um, mm. Stop smiling. <laughs> so we still take half, right? That's gonna oh, be... I was hoping none of y'all are hoping to get healed anytime soon. <laughs> 52 to Kellek, 52 points of cold damage oh, to cold Kellek. Damage. As oh that is my God. 8, 8 D8. 
Um, and then that is half of that. So that is 26 points of cold damage to everyone else, including the warden. I'm going to uncanny dodge that. Okay. And half it. Do the dodge. So that's okay. So for These secret, you are taking 13. That is those two's, those two, those two's mages. Um, those two mm. you, mages. You, yes. Next up, um, Olma, you are next up in initiative. Um, I want to do a shove attack on Barrett Hastel to break the, to potentially break the engagement between him and Kellick. Okay, you're going to make a shove attack. So that is going to be... Or a grapple. Be... It's, no, because his turn is before yours, so it doesn't matter, does it? Well, I mean, don't do it on my account. Don't worry about okay, I don't want to do say anything on I your wanna, account. I don't want to influence what you're doing. So you just, just do what it's you're going to do. It's super cute if Oma runs up there and <laughs> trying to push him away from yeah, you. That's so like... Here's the crap. Oh. Very sad. Also... He, he beefy, though. But also, yeah. yeah. He beefy. He beefy. It's, I mean, it is... Well, I don't know what else... I mean, I don't know what else to do to, like, get you guys out of the way. Do get, you don't... You know. Just banish him again. <laughs> I don't yeah, that's all you gotta do. I know. If you wish for that, I, th- I believe... I could be wrong, but I believe that was... The wild magic went off, and I believe the thing was, like, a random creature within 30 feet of mm-hmm. you gets banished, and it's, it just happened to be him. So so awesome. If you want to awesome. wish for that to happen again, it could yeah. be uh, it could be someone yeah, else true, who's leaving the battlefield. True, true. Kellogg being banished might be okay, too, because he can just heal himself. <laughs> <laughs> In the void I just take or... a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever you are. <laughs> okay. You know what? This is less stressful okay. here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're going to be fine. <laughs> just going to lay down a little bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... Um, Bonus action key point. Step of the wind. Okay. Um, use 25. Is that 25 or 30? 15, 20. I think that's about 20, actually, to get to um, Artemisia. Okay. That is going to be... Invisible. Invisibly. 15. It's 15 if you want to get in front of her right there. I don't. I just want to be next to her. I want to okay. yep. pull out the string of negate magic from my bag. Crouch down and attempt to get through the orb that's around her. Okay. And tie, um, use a stealth to, to somehow stealth my way into um, tying that around her ankle. Yeah. Nice. 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 Okay, Ooh. let me see. So I believe the way that we did this last time when you were I, at the top was making a stealth check mm-hmm. um, against the passive perception of the person you're trying to tie. Oh. trying to tie this thing around. That was for them not to notice, yeah. That was for them mm-hmm. not to mm-hmm. notice. Mm-hmm. I believe that's how we did it last time. Nice. So mm-hmm. I'm going to pull up Artemisia's passive perception if I can have you make a sleight of hand. I'm going to use Tides of Chaos. You don't oh, need to. You're okay. invisible. I'm invisible, so I already get it at advantage. You already have it at advantage. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Good save. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Nice. Good call. Natural 20! Yeah. 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 Let's go! With stealth. With stealth is a... um. 27. Okay, yeah, there's, Ooh, there's yeah. no way yeah. she notices that. Ooh. Um, we needed a win. <laughs> that, the yeah. team needed a win. Needed so a win. good. Okay. Oh, oh man. Oh, oh, you you just concentrating just on something? No. Yeah, it was Does it go all you can't concentrate on anymore because, I don't know. Oh, we'll yeah. see. We'll, we'll get the rear we'll, we'll see. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. We'll see. Okay. Um, is that the end of Oma's turn? No. So, because okay. I bonus actioned and that was my action, I still have... Um, another 40 something feet of move. I still have four, mm-hmm. 50, 60 feet of movement. Um, Cause I have 40 normally. So I got yep. 40 with my step of the wind plus the 20 extra I have plus uh, 25 extra I have. So ooh, uh, the math doesn't matter. I have a lot of movement. So I'm going to, um, <clears throat> where do I want to be on the map? Cause I can be anywhere. Um, <laughs> What's Alma doing? Alma's going to, <laughs> Run, run over to where I saw um, Seeker put his little totem. Okay. And put the totem inside my invisibility cloak. Oh. With okay. me. Okay. Can people see it hanging? If I Pro- step over it, if I walk not. over it. No. Okay, so I'm going to no. like step on hide top it. of it. I'm going to hide it and then I'm going Ooh. to walk it back um, towards the center of the arena. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Okay. <clears throat> put it where? Oh. Sure. Like near the near the well, in the center of town. Okay. So now I, I believe more people are going to be caught in this thing. So give me sorry, one second Shane. to move it. It's okay. Fine. I just I, figured. No, it's okay. Let me see if that's it, no. That's no Seeker worries. nods. Seeker nods in the direction. It is. Go with it. That yeah. it just disappeared. We'll be all right. Okay. So I nod. I will I put nod. that <laughs> on top of. Is it okay? <laughs> yeah. 
quietly, Wait. nodding. <laughs> Wait. And Oma goes right I think there. It, I don't yep. think it fucking matters. Okay. Um, all right, that gets one mage more. Plus Artemisia. Oh, yeah. Plus Artemisia. You can't do magic right now anyway, but. Okay. Yeah, but double down. I don't know. Um, sure. Cool. Fun idea. Um, yeah. no, I mean, okay, is that the end straight. of your turn? Yeah. Bonus <laughs> <laughs> okay. action, action, lots of movement. So. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And it's fun to be like, oh, I can just. Go anywhere. I have so it much must movement. be great. I'm going to open my eyes and look around at anybody to see if anybody clocked that the purple moved. But that's. I would like to think that I. This is a secret would definitely know. Yeah, he would be able to sense that. So I just look at Seeker's um, face. <laughs> okay. I have a smirk. Okay, cool. <laughs> nice. Next up. Um, all right. So, as that happens, a couple of these dwarven guards, um, two that are on the furthest roof, two of the, the guards that are on the roof right above where Oma had just moved the thing are going to um, reach into their pouches, uh, grab a couple of crossbow bolts that are flaming on the ends, put them into their crossbows, okay. and they are going to shoot them directly into the center right at this well um, where Kellick and what they where they know Kellick and Seeker are. Um, uh, as uh oh those are the only, no, no, no. that's the only place that they can really do this. So um, everyone within a 10 foot radius of that point. So that is, that's also going to be the warden. Um, <laughs> He's going to be pissed. Uh, yeah, the warden's going to be pissed. Be um, the warden, Kellick, Olma, and Seeker, I'm going to have you guys make, um, give me one second. It is a... Like really, the other Does side the arrows have to hit us, or the air, the fire? It is, is going to be fire? It's it's an area of effect. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah. So I'm going to have you all make a dexterity saving throw for me. Oh hmm? uh, well. Right now, fucking loud, dude. Not great. Mm. Mm-hmm. Um, I can do. Uh, okay. Occasion. Um, what work? did Kellett get? Uh, uh eight. An eight? Mm-hmm. Okay, so Kellogg is going to be taking 14 points of fire damage. Okay. Okay, you might get your turn then. <laughs> yeah, what, a, what a novel idea. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, evasion works. That's if you cool. succeed, you take no damage. Yeah. If you fail, you there take you half. Yeah. Perfect. Either way, it's going to help you. So that is also going to be Olma. What did you get? Oh, man. Um... Deck saving throw? It, uh, it, it passed. I think it was an 18 or a 19. I can't really remember what it was. at this. Uh, I think it was an You're 18. You're sure it was an 18 or a 19? You're sure it was one of those two? I'm positive. It was like a 16 or 15 when I hit it, so yes. Okay, all right. Then you are going to be taking seven points of fire damage. Okay. Um, Seeker? I rolled a 25, so I'm guessing I passed. You get seven points of fire damage? So I get none because of evasion. So nice. Okay. Nice. nice. Mm-hmm. What does it look like okay. when you don't yeah. get out of the way of it? Mm. Fucking roll, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry. Go ahead. That's your show. That's on you. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> no, I, I like it. Um, man, but I feel like I'm still in the field of fire, right? So I feel like. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, as I see it land and hit, I'm gonna grab my uh, forearm where my tattoo to Lars is, and um, mutter just a, a quick prayer of um, protect me, and um, it'll just kind of wash like as. As the flame, cool. as the, the orange flame is coming in, like a purple plasmatic flame will commingle with it around me and keep it off of me. Mm. Nice. Okay. Um, <laughs> also, uh, next up in the initiative is also um, the Dwarven Guard that is right in front of you, Brim. I believe he takes fire damage? Yep. Six points of fire damage. Six points right of fire damage. Start. Nice. Big. Okay. He's not going to love that. <laughs> um, six points of fire damage. Thank you. Um, and with that, he is going to, um, yeah, he's going to stay where he is, um, drops his crossbow, um, and pulls out his short sword. He's going to lunge at you for two attacks. Oh. That first one is going to be, oh, man, you're a monk, so I don't know if this is going to hit you. <laughs> um, that's going to be a 19 to hit. Just hits. Just mm. hits. Okay. Eight points of slashing damage. Mm. And then the next one that's going to swing at you, this probably isn't going to hit. That's going to be a 15 to hit. Nope. Okay. Um, and the second one, he swings over his shoulder. Um, he's definitely distracted by that fire that's <laughs> licking away at him. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I look like a, I'm like lava, like cooling lava, like how it's like dark like that, with like fissures that's just 
pouring out of me onto him. For sure. Hair, like the red hair is like up. It's all fire now. Mm. All right. Sick. Yeah. Um, next up, Kellick. Woo. Okay. Okay. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to look up incredu- incredulously at, at Hastel. For God's sake, man. Get a life. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna uh, use. I'm gonna look around. DM. There's a building on my left and a building behind me. Do any of them have windows or doors that seem to be open? No. Hmm? None that are currently open. Okay. No. You do see windows on the door to your left and windows on the door behind you. Okay. Uh, the windows on the door to my left are. Do they? Are they like? latched in any sort of way? They appear to be, like... I don't know. They look closed. Okay, well, then here's you my gamble. You want to make a here's perception my... check? I mean... For see? Sure. Okay, is make a perception check. Action? No, that is not. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to be... A 15? A 15. Uh, they're latched from the inside. Mm. Okay. <laughs> No open doors. You have an alleyway right behind you, between the two. You have a tree to your, well, behind you. You gotta get away. So. Uh, what about what about the building that Thessaly's on? Are there any entrances there that I can see? Uh, there is a door right there beneath above. where Thessaly is. Okay. Not open, but no, no. there is a door. Okay. I'm gonna use my action to disengage. Okay. I'm gonna run uh, up past Alma and Seeker, and I'm going to try to get into that building that Thessaly is on top of. Okay. I'm going to shoulder check the door. I'm going to have you make an athletics check. Okay. This is going to be your action to get in. Or actually, it was your action to disengage. It was my action. So, so I will say it's the rest of your movement in order to try and okay. get five, feet, this, five yeah. feet into the door. Okay. Athletics check. My sweet mother of God. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> oh my God. That was the Hail Mary. Uh, 18. 18. No. As you push all of your weight into it, the hinges on the door actually break and <laughs> burst open. Um, and you adrenaline. almost stumble and fall. Uh, you are now about <laughs> five feet into the building. And I'm, yeah, I'm just going to tuck into the corner. Do the healer's kit or potion uh, or anything? That's the rest of my movement. I'm just going to lean against that wall. And uh, yeah, that's my turn because I can't get far enough out of the. Out of the um, Do you have a potion? No. Okay. Anyway, I don't no, think. Oh, wait, bonus buddy. action. Love yeah. it. I Love was kind of healing word, but I can't get far enough. So, sorry. Okay. Oh, I see. What you're that is the end of Kellogg's turn. That is my turn. But at least true. At least I'm not in you front of cover. the castle anymore. <laughs> you're inside a building, yeah. and you have like lots of cover. Yeah. Okay. Um. Next up, uh, let me see. Seeker, you look up, and this mage in front of you, um, again is gonna try and cast a fireball. Yeah, because he's good yeah. fucking luck. And <laughs> boom, goes right into the, um, well, actually, now it f- goes past you again. <laughs> These keep going past you. Um, and to the Funny. tribute totem that Dude. Ulma is holding. Right behind me. <laughs> that is another There's... fireball. How many spells is that two? That's, that's two. in there currently? Two. Okay. What are we counting toward? <laughs> and then, um, Brim, right in front of you. Um, that mage right in front of me is stunned. <laughs> that mage is stunned. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, it does I, not I get any shit out of him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, that and is that to the end of his turn? End of my turn. End of your turn, ah! correct. Okay, so you would be stunned no matter not what. That's a fucking yes. game, um, my man. Yeah. 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 can't move. <laughs> okay. That is his first turn, though, but also we're gonna say he still takes damage. Six points. Oh, yeah, six points of damage, damage right? Damage, yeah, because he's nice. his turn. Very good. Remember my own shit better than me. <laughs> Love it. Um, okay. I remember any damage fair. that enemies <laughs> yeah. should take. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> all right. Um, now we are once again at the top of initiative. Seeker. Ooh. All right. What a meat grinder. Um, <laughs> so that Hitting. that just went right next to me. So I know I saw it move. I you would be able to get a sense of what's happening. <laughs> um, I'm gonna bend down. Oh, I'm gonna have it. And. Ryan. I will uh, respond and say, uh huh, but I can't, I can't, can't do, do anything. Mm-hmm. Of course you can. You can reach into my cloak and grab uh, it if you want. And then but... you just let go of it, right? <laughs> yeah. 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 
I would say, just before you commit to something, yeah. as Alma is invisible, yeah. it would take you a moment to reach in. I would constitute that as your action yeah. to try yeah. and find yeah. the tribute totem within an invisible cloak. And it does like relieve, like everyone will see me then. Also, yeah, <laughs> In the true. center yeah. of all the enemies. <laughs> Not all are probably here for you. Which but um, they would still be at disadvantage because I could, like they don't know when my turn is and they don't know. But it would give away certain elements, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave it here. Hmm? I'll leave it here okay. when I move. Okay. And, like whispering, like <laughs> trying to be. Um, so I will shake my head and I will reach into my shirt pocket, pull out a card with a blue dragon on it. Hey! And yeah. I will oh. flip it towards. Barrett has to and look him in the eye and say, um, well, hold on, let me tell you what I'm going to say. Uh, Dragon V. Barrett. The big one. No, not no, the big one. Don't do the big one. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, the big one would be crazy. Next time we're in an apocalyptic situation, mm-hmm. we can grab mm-hmm. the big one. Yeah. So I'm going to look him in the eyes and kind of smirk and say, laps. Ah! Which one's that? Wormling. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Uh, so from the, the card... Baby. Uh, it, it, uh, the ground does not shake, uh, <laughs> but sort of folding and peeling out of the card, um, the paint and the ink runs into a blue dragon wormling. What is the size of that? It's medium. Medium. Okay. It's a baby. And I would love, Still medium, though. If possible, I would love yeah. for it to be like hovering like right in his space, like, like five feet off the ground. Sure. Um, like right above him. Like, yeah. And on the map, I'm going to put it right next to him, just so I don't forget okay. that he's there. Or, I mean, no, like, just, like, just off the ground. Like, it's right. Okay, it's yeah. It's in between oh, him okay. and where I think Oma is. Hmm. Um, okay. Sure. And then... Thanks, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Blueberry, right? What do we call him? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. That's what you call him. That's what I call him. To be determined. <laughs> Thanks, Blueberry. Um, <laughs> that's what Oma's going to call him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I am going to... That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, that is all you are going to do. And then it's its turn. Is its turn right after yours? It is its turn turn right after yours. Let's go. (laughs) From the roof, Brim is like, what the? (laughs) (laughs) Dragon! (laughs) Dragon! Dragon! I guess my bonus for action would be like, yeah, there's a dragon. (laughs) (laughs) We lied. (laughs) Yeah. Love to see it. Going to fire lightning breath. Which okay. I believe could hit him and the dwarf on the roof. So it Ooh. is a uh, thirty foot line. Thirty foot line. Five feet yeah. wide. Come five on, feet wide. No, because the roof is. But he's five foot up. Five feet up from the ground. So you five just feet angle up it up. From five is ten. The angle would be. Yes, but he oh. would be able to bounce it down and then back up to get the. Mm. Oh, that's okay. So because because the wormling is up in the air, mm-hmm. it would have to face its lightning down mm-hmm. towards the warden. So it would not be able to then get it back up. Fair enough. Is he able to just move it down to the ground so you can cast it up? Well, I mean, he's like movement? off the ground. He's like floating. Like he's got he's movement. Just hovering, just like, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. that's, that's what I said he was. So, um, gotta make a DC 12 deck save. It'll be a 13. <gasps> that's gonna save. So you'll uh, take half mm-hmm. the damage. Um, so excited. Yeah. Hail me any. Um, well, I got him. He gave me two. So we're good. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? I think. I, oh, yeah? I think. 16? 16, so, okay. So, eight. You get half. You take half. Oh, eight. Okay. I mean... Oh, well, then there's my damage. There is your damage. Yeah. Do you take three it's oh. three D8. Yeah. Three, three six, D8? nine, twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three D eight from all of them. Yeah. Okay. I don't so that... take uh, exhaustion from all of them, but I take uh, damage okay. from okay. all of them. Yeah. So the wormling, you do not take exhaustion. Exhaustion. That's what we we're thinking about. Three D eight. Who oh boy? That's going to be seven points of psychic okay. damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, every time it stings. Okay. Is that the end of yours and the dragon's turn? Yes. All right. Next up, we got uh, a couple of guards. These three. I know the one on the far roof. So, yes, the one on the far roof, and then the two just above the warden. Um, You know what? They're going to follow suit of what happened previously, and they see a 
blue dragon. So they are going to shoot a couple of their explosive arrows into that crowd as well. Um, aiming for Seeker and the Dragon. Olma, you are within that as well. So I'm going to need a... They're also going to hit Astral again. Yeah. And they do not care about that warning. Um, no, no. They, because they're aiming for the oh, well, and it is a... Oh, uh, He's within 10 feet yeah. of the well. Mm-hmm. They would aim them over so that they wouldn't yeah. hit so, okay, have plenty of area. Stop beyond. hitting the bomb. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it won't yeah. hit the Dragon. He doesn't know... <laughs> I don't want to. Um, I don't want to run out with me. Yeah, dragon's still within <laughs> ten feet. Could though, be. Right? Mm-mm, not if they hit it far enough to. They hit it right under. Yeah. Unless they're aiming directly for seeker with the explosion, it's not going to hit. Yeah. So they would they would aim directly for seeker, which then the dragon would be a part ten. of that. Yeah. Yes. That from the radius. So okay. I'm going to need the dragon, seeker, and Olma to make dexterity saving you throws for me. Feet. Would that one uh, mage on the ground be in in range of that? Um. So I'm. Let me see. So that would be. Oh, it's below him, not on him. Uh, yeah. It's... I got. You. I thought you said it was on. Does not bad, hit the bad. dragon. Yeah, they'd have to hit right there to get the dragon. Yeah. So yeah. So those three are going to making be making dexterity saving throws for me. Okay. Seekers a twenty four. And I I get a, if I so pass, then I have evasion, so I did zero. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that would succeed. Nice. Dude. Shadow cast. I had a hard time seeing it. The dragon gets a eighteen. Okay, that succeeds as well. Alma? We're doing twi- two, right? Or just one? Mm-hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's two. It is two it, because it's two. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, so- I'm sorry. It's three. All three of the guards are... We got to keep... Okay, so the first... I'm sorry. Let's go yeah. one by one. So, Seeker, you succeeded on that first one. Yes. And the dragon succeeded on and the, the first dragon one. Succeeded. Okay, so let's go the second one now. But the dragon will still take damage. Still take damage. Dragon still the dragon takes damage. Have evasion. Okay, so that you, is going to be... Can you do evasion every time or is it once? Is it's a reaction. Oh, I can? It's a passive ability. That's it's always, so it's always cool, on. Cool, man. Okay, so that is going to be <laughs> nine nine points for, for the, the dragon. dragon. Okay. And, or I'm sorry, the dragon succeeded. So that's going to be, th- oh my God, four, what is that? Four points. Five? Four points of fire damage for the dragon. Olma, what did um, you get? Seven, 10, 20. I'm so, for the first one is seven. seven. Okay, so you take the full nine points of fire damage. Okay, the second arrow. Second arrow. Seeker, what'd you get? Seeker got a 22. 22, so you succeed, so you don't take any damage. That does oh, magic. Oh, but Draggy got a natural one. Oh. No! no. no. Okay, so 10 points of fire damage. <laughs> How much? 10, 10. points of fire 10. damage. Okay. And Oma, what was that second one for you? Uh, 10. A 10, so that's going to be 10 points of fire damage. And the third arrow Left. coming in, Seeker. That's a 14. 14 succeeds. Okay, Yay. you get no damage. Nice. Um, the dragon that purple that purple plasma <laughs> yeah. Just, dude, yeah, yeah 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 <laughs> Lowers is like jeez dude just dude, stop on, dude. please <laughs> what are you <laughs> still doing I'm exhausted move <laughs> move already <laughs> uh, I, gotta, I gotta take that tattoo from him uh, yeah. <laughs> the dragon got 15 a uh, 15 so that succeeds yeah. so the dragon no. is going to take 5 points Five points of five. fire damage. Okay. <laughs> dirty 20. A dirty 20. Okay, so you also take five points of fire damage. Jeez. Okay. okay. Those are the three guards there. I don't like them. <clears throat> I do not. Next up, Thessaly. Okay. Um, so, um, wings are already out. I believe when that happens, I can just go ahead and activate the helm. Is that correct? Since I took that action at the beginning of... The round is what that does right? it? I believe the I believe helm on it. It says, "Does it say?" It says, "Well, the wings and the helm kind of go together." So I didn't That's clarify. Right. Is That's that right. okay? Yes. So okay, it, it pops out at the same time. I just yes. wanted. To, I just want to make sure um, we made that little wombo combo. What is that doing? So uh, I would now like to use the helm's feature because I am going to fly over and land. I'm gonna try to go in and like do one, two, like into the back of Barrett Hastel. Mm, okay. I'm going to slam both my swords and I'm going to land as I'm as I fly over. I'm going to use my movement and I'm I'm going to get him. Mess him up if I can. I'm paladin so be Paladin. And my eyes okay. are burning like they're burning mm-hmm. through the helm. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I I will ask are you choosing to take that feature that the helm gives you? Cuz I believe that's one of the prerequisites you need to specify beforehand that you are going to use it before I hit. Before you hit. Yeah, I'm I'm I would like to. Okay, I just wanted to make sure yeah, that Yeah, no. No, that that's not why I'm frustrated. I'm okay. frustrated cuz the I odds of you rolling roll. that are pretty impressive though. <laughs> Did she drop them? 
she... No, no, I rolled in, them this time. In, I absolutely rolled them. It's no, they're just the same number. I know that's... Oh, I got you. Anytime you roll two dice and they're uh, the same number, it's pretty cool. impressive. Does a 15 hit him? He ain't got no armor. No, At 15, he's naked. Did I not describe that he was naked? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. No. Just no, that does not... Here. Yeah, I didn't think so. That was... So that's both my attacks. I just... I oh. missed. Okay, next up is Artemisia. Artemisia? Oh, no. I forgot about her. So I have an answer. When, 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 sorry. When, 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 uh, when, when, oh, when, 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 Put the, br- the bracelet wire on the foot. Did the concentration of spells dissipate because you, you can't. It's a negate magic. You can't strength. do any magic. You can't have any magic going. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I don't know. How um, yeah, so I'm going to say that that drops the globe of invulnerability. Nice. <laughs> Nice, nice. Um, really, really nice. good. Which is good. That's awesome. That's a huge spell. And then, another one. So it drops everything. <laughs> what would she think? She dies. Uh, <laughs> very confused. Well, it'd be very hard to think because I rolled a 27. Yeah, you, the <laughs> you wouldn't know what, but you would know something. Well, something like yeah, yeah, you would know well, something. Well, the rule happened. we did last time was that they, they could use their entire action to r- try to roll <laughs> <laughs> intelligence to and investigation to try and figure it out. So I think that And she's like 900 years old. First off, something, but yeah. it has to beat my yeah. 27, yeah. Yeah. which Just is wondering how really fast. It's an action. She has seen in her it's an action right. yeah. 27 stands is what we said. So yeah, please. that's how we did it for the last time. So now she's still rolling. yeah, <laughs> she is going to step around Flynn. Take an up attack potentially. No, no, no she's staying. Because she's, she's, right. she's not leaving oh. his not thing. Uh, uh, I mean, the only thing that she would do would look for it, but then she's not going to beat a 27. Yeah, like so, even if she rolls a natural 20, it doesn't beat it. So um, I don't know what her numbers are, but. Um, she would step around Flynn. Her and her um, but And then I don't even need to roll because she wouldn't be able to find. She's patting herself down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> who doesn't even know if it's something on her, yeah. Right, well, she knows okay. she had the globe of invisibility. or, invul- or Well, body. actually, that's just spells below fifth level, though. So someone could hit her with like a fucking like. Dispel magic. Dispel magic at like Not ninth yeah. level. Yeah. Super confused. Okay, um, then that's her turn. She can't do anything. Whose turn is it next? Uh, Flynn's. Is it my turn next? Yes, go for it. I have to mm. Okay, um, make your attack. So it's the long eve. It's dark out, right? Is it dim mm-hmm. light? Okay, so I get advantage then with my style. I'm my blade. Okay, nice. Yeah. Let me just get it. Bring it up. Can I ask you a question? E. Are you a threat? You better believe it. There you <laughs> go. All right. Okay, so a vanish. Uh... 23 to hit Artemisia. Okay, uh, yeah, I believe that hits. Unless, right. unless she's got the world's best mage on. <laughs> it doesn't, she doesn't have it anymore. Okay, so there it is. Yes, she doesn't have it anymore. Oh, her major armor dropped. That's right, you did the thing. So 17. We're like magic negation points team. of damage. Do you need anything separate? I think it's all psychic, actually. Um, no. Know, okay. Let me see. Um, you are within the... Um, yeah, I mean, it does I think my blade still is up. I don't know. That's a question for the totem. Yeah, his blade's still up. It's just that you can't cast. You can't within. when you actively cast okay, so something you within. Walk, it's you can cast something path. on yourself and right. walk yeah. into Correct. it Correct. still. Yeah. So yeah. 20, what did I say? 25? 25, 25, 25 points of psychic points damage. Of psychic damage. Okay. okay. As the blade kind of passes through once again, it doesn't seem like it cuts at all, but you just see like the, the bloodshot eyes and like pe- bits of blood dripping from the eyes and nose. Okay. And I come in with another attack. All right. Uh, really freaking high, 28. Uh, 28 hits, yeah. Nice. Oh, you're going good. down. All right. Shaking. Yeah. Eight. 12. 20 points of uh, psychic damage again. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then I will, uh, seeing an opportunity arise, I will action surge and come in again with two more quick attacks. Yeah. yeah. All right. You. Oh, Get come her. On. Uh, okay, you, that you is uh, me. 20, 24. 24 hits, yeah. Okay. Uh, 19 points of psychic. Okay, give me one second. Uh, well, to do the math on that right now. Yeah. God. Okay. Okay. Uh, 25 for the last attack. Oh yeah, that hits. Yeah, I forgot. These are. It's the long eve. It's dark outside. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 17 points of psychic damage on top of that. Nice. nice. Okay, so that is. A fuck ton of damage in one turn. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Fighters, baby. There we are. There, that's uh, the only thing okay. I can really do. Um, All right. Is that it? And then I will kind of like after that exhilarating round of slashing and cutting and, and she's just bleeding from the eyes and the nose and all that great stuff. I will kind of like 
<laughs> and second wind is my bonus action. Nice. Okay. And then that'll be my turn. Awesome. Um, let me know what that is. Yeah. Dip, dip, dip. Is action surge not a bonus action? No, it's, like, no. it's something I can do once per turn. Nice. It's just a yeah. 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 Fucking awesome. It's one of the fighters are cracking. They're awesome. I thought that they were Crass. both. I thought they were both bonus oh, actions. Okay. That's. Uh, he was out here proccing all kinds of stuff, huh? He was, he was proccing. <laughs> It's no act. It's just a thing. Like, yeah. 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 Kind of like bussing, Word. but you're proccing. <laughs> I got 13 points. <laughs> I'm going to add that to you. Okay. Gotcha. And I'm okay. just going to stare up at, at Artemis again. Like, <laughs> just smiling with a grin. Nice. <laughs> and that's my turn. Get him, awesome. Flynn. Yeah. Um, actually, um, I will move uh, around her. The same thing that she did to me, I will move around her. That's why I'm now also out of the, mm. the thing. Just in case okay. I need to use spells. Yeah, for oh, sure. Exactly yeah. right there. That's great. To like block her off. Yeah, and block her off. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Next up is the warden. Last we specified, is the dragon floating or is the dragon on the ground? It is floating. Okay, it is floating. So the dragon would not be within this because the dragon is not touching the ground. Um, as the warden reaches his sword up into the air and like rotates it within his hand so now he has it in a reverse grip and drives it down into the ground as this necrotic energy almost slides down off of the blade and infects the ground around it as spikes all jut up from the ground i'm gonna need thessaly who is now yeah. on the ground ulma and seeker to make a what is it this is the feature the sword i'm guessing and not yes. the spell that is correct um Ooh, a wisdom saving throw. Ulma, you within 10 feet of me. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? At five? Plus, plus five. five. Plus five? Okay. Uh, I think Seeker's outside of it, yeah. Wisdom? The wisdom. little dragon boy will get it, though. The dragon does not get it, because oh, the dragon okay. is not on the ground. Mm -hmm. um, okay. That's a 26 for Ulma. Okay, Ulma succeeds. Seeker? Six. Six. Thessaly? Uh, I'm sorry. It's bound to happen. Uh, that is a 24. You avoided all the other ones? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. A lot. 24. We still right? We don't know what it also, is. Yet. No. Did you? But did you say necrotic DM? Mm-hmm. Yes. Because so I have resistance. Oh, nice. Yeah. So okay. Quarter, nice. Potentially. Yeah. Probably a good thing. Um, so Seeker, you were the only one taking the full brunt of this damage. You are taking sixty points of necrotic. Oh. I'm gonna uncanny dodge that. Oh. Is it a, is it's it? a wisdom saving throw, not a oh, dexterity saving throw. Oh, yeah, you can't. Well, no, no, no. Uncanny dodge isn't about dex. This is if an attacker, oh, really? if an attacker you can see hits you with an attack. Yeah, that's evasion. Oh, you're doing yeah, the other one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, okay. A, so if I can thought. see the attacker make an attack, I can it's a reaction. the damage. Okay. Yeah. Wait, but is it on an attack roll specifically? Is it like a weapon attack or is it a spell? Uh, or is it a saving throw. I think. Can you read it? Can you read it specifically? When an attacker you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to half the attack's damage. I mean, to hitting, they're still hitting him with the attack, even though he's. Putting it into the is ground. That, yeah, is that I would say, throw, not is, is it like like fireball? Where would you classify fireball as an attack? No, fireball there. is like a deck save, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's an AOE like. Uh, this is a wisdom save. But this is also like a save. They're I usually like treated the opposite. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Think it means, yeah. I would say it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's uncanny full. dodge is very specifically attacks, which this yeah. is not an attack. Yeah. It is yeah. a saving throw or an AOE save. Okay. Okay. The, the language be okay, is buddy. distinct for that reason. And then, fair enough. Alma yeah. succeeded, so you take thirty points of necrotic damage. So just to be clear, I fall. I'm down. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Is the totem oh, still up? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So is the dragon. Okay. Oh, so is the, Wait, so is the dragon. Wait, is the dragon still up? Oh, no. No, I think it... Probably not. Okay. Does it keep Unless taking damage? it just keeps sucking life from me while oh, you're down? Oh, Jesus. Uh, yeah. um, no, I spe we specified in the spell, if you fall unconscious, the dragon Where disappears. Okay. Sick. Well, that's, that's good nice. Then. That's good. That's really good. good. Don't want to just kill you. Okay, so Seeker falls. Oh, I don't know what. And Ooh, yeah. I don't know what the dragon do. folds up uh, you, in like this, <laughs> this like fifth dimensional sort <laughs> of folding <laughs> way, yeah, and right. folds back into the card as the card falls to the My ground. Is, I need to touch me. Oh man, I can't fucking do it. Next up, Brim. What are you doing? You are still on this roof with a couple of, <clears throat> with a mage and a guard. Oh, I'm so freaking mad, man. <laughs> All right. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I am going to the, uh, I'll pull the little, the little uh, top off of my, uh, my little gourd to my side. And I will, I pull it out. 
um, and like it sort of swirls around me in a wave, and I'm going to spend two key, key points to enter water form. Um, what? Huh? What? I'm a way four elements monk, baby. He's going uh, another. <laughs> oh, okay. So I will enter into water right. form. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, what he, this is what he does. That's what I do. I, I got a couple. Ah! Um, and then I'm going to, oh, man, I'm going to run uh, away. I'm just going to leave um, these guys' reach. And I'm going to run and plant myself uh, squarely in front of that, uh, of the warden. Oh, you're going to run the opposite way. Yeah, I'm going to run straight down. Okay. And uh, actually the other side, if I could. Um, yep. So I'm nice. lined up there. Yes. Um, and okay. I am going to take the op attacks. You will take the op attacks mm-hmm. first. Um, so when that is guard. Stunned? Oh, yeah, the main. The main yeah, yeah, the main. Well, you take nice. your one op yeah, attack. Yeah, this is the main. Um, still stunned. That guard. Oh, it's a 10 to hit. 10? No. Uh, yeah. Swings and misses. Just use my hand and slap <laughs> it away. Uh, yeah, I'm going to run down and I'm going to hit. Um, oh, wait. I got to spend two key points. I'm sorry. Freaking out, man. I'm freaking out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to hit the emperor. The emperor? What? Uh, warden. <laughs> <laughs> the warden. Um, with. Um, he thinks he's the an emperor. emperor. Still, yeah, yeah, with, uh, with <laughs> Silverwind. Um, I do have Thessaly within five feet, so I get my sneak attack dice. Yes, that you do. Is not great. Um, that is terrible, actually. Uh, that's a thirteen to hit. Thirteen does not hit. Okay, and then uh, second attack, natural twenty. Nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay, cool. So, so that damage. Is, damage. 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 That is yeah. Eight plus six is fourteen. Plus six is twenty. Plus seven is twenty-seven points nice. of yeah. damage on that. Natural. Uh, okay. And I am going to spend a key point and try to stun him. So how Wait, roll on top of it. Did you roll yeah. on top of it? So yeah. it's, your, it's your max plus it's max. you roll. Yeah, so I yeah. 8 plus 6 is 14. So D6 is a 6, right? Then 8, 14, Got plus it. my dex and plus oh, okay. one is 20. Okay. Then you were, 7 yeah. here, right? So oh, 27 yeah. total. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, be, wait. Oh, it didn't hit on the first one. Yeah. So I'm sorry. It's an additional 6, so 32. Uh, 32? Plus... Well, if it was 27, it's 33. Oh, you're right. 33 plus another five for the sneak attack dice. So 38 points. 38. Nice. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Uh, take that snack attack. Yeah. 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 Take that snack. Yeah. Snack attack. Get some places. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to spend another <laughs> key to attempt a stunning strike on him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. All right. Uh, Come on. Let's see the Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I'm going to ask again. What is that for me? Uh, DC 18 con save. I know he's probably pretty probably good at these. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Doesn't matter if he's good at it or not. He got a natural 20. <laughs> Red bastard. It's okay. Um, it's going to be big if that lands. Yeah. 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 And then um, I am, yeah, I'm, I'm chilling. Uh, I'm going to just put myself in between him and Kelly, uh, who is over there. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. That is Brim. These mages... I'm going to roll an Arcana check for these two mages. Yeah, they've been in there for a minute. They've figured it out. You'd think they would. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you think. forgot. But you Sadly. forgot. Um, so uh, let's see. Who's first in the initiative? Okay, so the mage that is on the ground, sort of in this alleyway, um, he's going to try again another... Uh, Another, what's he gonna do? Does he have any more spell slots for fireball? Cause that's what he's gonna do if he does. Um, let me see. Does he not care about Barrett Hastel? He's gonna position it. Can he? Let me see, 20 foot radius. Can he position that? He's I gonna think hit one of them. Who's gonna aim for if he's gonna position it there? <laughs> um, let's see, well, if he, if he plants it sort of at this doorway. Yeah, if he's in that position, he sees a bunch of enemies all lined up. Lined up. Real so, he, sees he sees two Captain enemies. Your oh, he sees, he sees, he sees okay. that oh, one is yeah. invisible. So he sees two there. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. I forgot about that. Yeah. And one is dead. But that's, I mean, no, 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 those two. are the only people that, Flynn's way off. He, those are the oh, only no, people totally. to aim no, for. I'm, so I'm with you. I'm just saying. He's like, going to throw it back. Throw it back. He's going to be throwing it back. Okay. It's still going to hit the warden. So I'm going to see if he can, let me see. Um, it doesn't really matter because this is the third one. So he, good if to see he the hits, math. it's good to oh, see the math. Because right. if he that's hits, right. it's gonna yeah. I totally forgot about thing that. anyway. He but... tosses this fireball halfway through the air. <laughs> right. Oh my god. Uh, I forgot. Into the. Yeah. Uh, so you now have it's a the moment that it totem. hits. The totem closes. Oh, thank God. It and closes. You would, I'll be the only one to know that. Okay. Because oh, you're on. You're holding it. And I, I it like moves. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> right. Um. This other mage, however, I who was about to prepare the exact same thing does the exact same thing. So for him, right. I'm going to see if there is a place that he can put this best. Um, what are you going to do first? 
Tell me what he's doing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he doesn't do anything, apparently, because you're going to counter spell. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let me, but let's We're role play it out. <laughs> you don't let me role play it out. Why should I let you? Do? <laughs> no. Um, so he he conjures this fireball within his hands and he sort of does this, he's on top of a roof, so he do, sort of does this underhanded lob to try and place it correctly. Mm. I, see, I feel the totem close and yes. I know, okay, now's my chance. Mm -hmm. And I see him doing his arms and I counter spell. Okay. <laughs> um, so that is, he cast it at third level, yeah. I cast it at, at third and it's, Okay, it's exciting. Let's go. Ooh. Four even people. Oh, Team oh, negate magic. Oh, Let's go. My gird. So that is counterspelled. I'm saving. That's that's big. That's insane. I mean, next you time would be you Oma. Anger can't take it. Oma. Oma? Like, Oma. Oh, I cannot. Okay. Oh. Um. Bonus action. <laughs> Wait, I have a bonus action still, right? That was a reaction. Bonus action. I'm gonna take a fucking potion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Nice. So um. Uh, I just have a standard healing potion and um, 2d4 plus 2. Uh, the 5. Five? <laughs> 5? Okay. Points back. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm just going to, um, <gasps> <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, for me. Oh. I think it, it was oh. a bonus. I'm sorry. Oh, I poured it down. In your um, dreams. No, in your yeah. dreams. Yeah. Yeah. What are you thinking? So Fuck you. Dreams. <laughs> you're dead. So your soul is roll your like, roll no. your death saving no. through. No. Dude, Get I, it over with. I'm just like I, yeah, I don't know you're... if I can waste. I don't think I have time to waste a spell slot or an action right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, no, it's valid. <laughs> All right, um, economy. I need to. He can't see me, so I don't have to make a, I can just run away. He's not gonna op attack me. So mm -hmm. I'm going to run away um, into the door that yeah. is in. <laughs> okay. I am running in there um, to get away from damage. I am just a scorched, frozen, bloody heap <laughs> leaning against the wall as you come in. <laughs> Simultaneously frozen and um, on fire. One side is frozen, and the other side is sick. What did you do with and the totem? And then I will, I left it. I, I said I was so gonna leave there. it, so oh, it's okay. on the okay. ground. It's, you can see it, okay. it's just on the ground. <laughs> okay. I left it. Um, and then I am going to take a deep breath and um, cast, um, put my hands in front of me, as you see, like just a writhing um, beam of fire um, to Barrett Hastel and cast Immolation. And um, I need a deck save, which will probably oh. save. Is that a line? Do you need a straight line? No, I don't need a straight line. Oh, no, okay. You, you, said, you said, said a straight line. Him. Okay, oh, you said I, a straight no, no, line, so I thought you meant I'm throwing it. Okay, gotcha. Him. Okay, so what is that going to be from him? Deck save. He's not very deck so so let me thinking. That's what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. He's a big boy. He's a big sword boy. and all that. Going to be a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. That's uh, <laughs> seven. Failed. Okay, Let's so. Go, um, dude. Burn the other half of it. Okay, so. Um, <laughs> even him out. <laughs> the spell, he's going to burn for the entire spell's duration. Okay. He's shedding light for 30 feet. Um, dim light for an additional 30. Um, he's going to take a saving throw on each of his. Just know that you are currently I within that, so your, your sword would good. reduce damage. Mm -hmm. I was counting. I was doing the counts, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I do like I was that. Like, it's ooh, the, light. It's light. the long you that away. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's literally just like a beacon in the middle of this town. I like it. <laughs> right. him, and, him and Brim both. Can I have some yeah. sixes? You a light show. Yeah, one, two, oh, yeah, I need oh, one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, I eight. Think, I think he said, is it? It's something in Does your fire make light? Feet bright light, oh. feet dim. Right, from Brim. Okay. Oh, so he would have Okay, so th good. it is good. Also, so, uh, yeah. 10, 15, 21, 22, 23, 26, 28 points of fire nice. damage, and he stays on fire. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Nice. I like that. I like it. I like so it. I like he it. Take, when does he take the damage for that? Every 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 uh, turn. Right? Oh, no, no, he takes one, and then he's going to save again, and then he's going to take my roll again. Turn or is it on your turn? No, he takes it right away. I mean the burning. Twenty-eight points. That's his damage right now, right away. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking uh, about the burning. When does he make the next throw? Because you said it's it continues his on. Turn, his, his turn. His turn. Yeah. So he has to save. Yeah. One second. I think so. You're gonna do the. Oh, it's doubled up. Yeah, at the end of his turn, though, instead of the beginning. Okay. He has an opportunity to save. He's gonna be burning like crazy. Yeah, right. This guy's all burning. No, five we're just to say about it. <laughs> we're just making it He's work. It starts it. raining out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> and the fire goes out. <laughs> Acid rain? Yes. Okay. 
Sorry, I have like no idea whose dice is No, who. you're fine. <laughs> yeah. I didn't okay. know how much damage is that? Things. That was 28 points of oh, fire damage. 28, okay. And he's on fire! Um, okay, he's not fire. extinguished other than by magical means. Yeah. Magical rain starts coming. <laughs> um, that is Ulma's turn. Next up, we've That's got a couple war. of these oh, guards. Oh, wild magic surge. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, we have... Um, was that the first spell that you did? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. cool. I just want to make sure. Six. Six? Okay, Five, so that's good. Oh, uh, counter spell. Oh, yeah. What's also spell? So spell, yep. Fifteen. Oh, okay. we're good. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, sometimes, sometimes it's, it's good, though. Good sometimes deck. it's great. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it banishes a certain We want to take that gamble right now, though. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Seeker. <laughs> Ulma just <laughs> runs into a house, and then the house just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I left you. I'm inside. I'm just like, <laughs> but you know what? You're supposed to put an oxygen mask on yourself first <laughs> that's, that's, before you help us. That, <laughs> that is true. That is All right. what they say. Um, that is totally, <laughs> totally fair. We have a couple of guards. Okay. And I have about. nine um, hit points. I'm worried about these arrows. Let's see. You. So we've got... Well, I think it's only going to be on... Guards mm. that Frank are... A disadvantage on you because you're prone if they shoot you. Well, Why would no, they shoot? the fire is 10 feet. Uh, the fire is an eight. Oh, so yeah, from their perspective, they are not They're even able to see Flynn at the moment. <laughs> There's sort of a, a roof in the way because that's Flynn is on the ground. Yeah, that's oh, what they can see, though, is the fighting in the center here. So they are going to oh. get a clean shot. It's They're the going human to... torches there in the middle, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> They're going to run over to this rooftop. Beacons I mean, they could see me now, potentially. So they're technically if you want to shoot me. They're, too. Yeah. they're, but yeah. they're running to a sure. goal. Um, so, and you're sort of off to the side. I loved it. Um, so, yeah. And then those two and the guard that Brim was originally entangled with, um, they're going to get out more of their explosive crossbow bolts. And they are going to fire them right behind Thessaly. So I'm yeah. going to need dexterity saving throws from Thessaly and Brim. At least that's not going to hit Seekers. So yeah, um, we're going to do one by one. So I'm nervous. Each of you give me one. There's three of them. Mm-hmm. I, don't think, I don't think they've taken much damage. Their, their aim isn't good. Those guys haven't, no. Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, 16. That succeeds. Okay. Uh, 10. A 10. So that fails. So you're yeah. going to take 16 points of fire damage okay. and 8 points of fire damage. Uh, I also have evasion from Monk, so I don't oh, take Oh, so you don't take nice. any. Nice. Okay, nice. that's awesome. Monk's really okay, like next. 10 or something. Okay. Next, bolts. So I'm going to need one more. 14. Shoot. A 14 succeeds. Oh, so no damage. Thessaly. Sorry, I'm disassociating. Um, yeah. Fuck this dice. Uh, 10. <laughs> right? Uh, 10. 10. That does not succeed. Yeah, I know. That's going to be 5 points of fire damage. Okay. That's not bad. And? And last one. Just five. Yeah, just five. Oh, just five, oh, just five points of fire. Sorry. <laughs> You're like, one. I'm ready to get full on. You succeed? Natural 20. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Hooray. I will you say on a it, natural Dev. 20, you, you are able to completely evade. You do not take any damage. Hey, Aww. love than that. You're sweet. Um, <laughs> DM, thank you so much. You thank you. DM. Blessed, generous DM. <laughs> blessed, blessed. <laughs> Like stop, stop. stop. DM ever. We appreciate him. Um, we do. Okay. Kellick. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, is there an exit? It kind of looks to me like in this building there's an exit out uh, to where Flynn and Artemisia are. That would be correct. Okay. Mm, okay. And I'm aware that they're over there. Yeah. You would be aware. And Especially seeing, because Artemisia is there, you, you would be hyper aware of where she is yeah. any time in the yeah. battle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. I think we can all see that the totem is in the center closed. closed. Yeah. yeah, well I just saw all my cast yeah. spells, so I'm I'm gonna oh, be able right. to tell. Oh right, yeah. true. Yeah. Uh so yeah, okay, first things first. I'm going to let me see. Let me see what level I want to cast. The big one. <laughs> the boom. Let me cast heal, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> heal around corners. Everyone gets healed. <laughs> but only the people I choose. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, we're, I'm making sure I have health potions on me next time we go into a fight. Yeah, I am. I don't think I have any. Remiss. Either. I can't believe I okay. didn't. All right, what's Kaylek doing? I think you have one, Man, unless you already used it. I don't. I don't remember when, but I don't. Uh, how's everybody looking? Rough. Look Seeker Seeker's is down. dead. Yeah. Okay, Seeker's, down. <laughs> Seeker's unconscious. You see me? I'm like kind of like almost you super can't wounded. See me. Oh, yeah. You can't see me. Uh, yeah. So yeah. No, one, no one can see. Ulma. But I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Like, eh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I know my job. 
Uh, I know my job. <laughs> we uh, have to remember our jobs sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> um, it's yeah, hard. I'm going to um, uh, pull a uh, once more pull uh, ashes within my hand, and they they have just the, the teeniest bit of a of a golden shimmer to them as they pull. I'm going to pull them uh, down across my nose, but then as I do, as I pull them from from the top of my temple to uh, my nose, they actually continue to flow until they fall like a curtain around my body Ooh. and they begin to like uh, twist into patterns and spiral outward until they become one with the air and it, it just explodes outward from me and I'm going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Um, <laughs> as, like, from every like uh, orifice of this <gasps> house I'm in, yeah. like these ashes <laughs> pour out and fly to uh, within 30 feet up to six creatures. So I think I can hit everybody. I think. Is it just like AOE, or do you have to see them? Yeah, we'll say everybody. Foot radius. Yeah, we'll say everybody. Yeah. So I think you're good. Um, I think so. Yeah. I think you're fucking good. Radius. Bro. I'm right next to him. Yeah. The only one. Can you get have, Flynn? Have to see. You don't have to see. Oh, okay, no. great. Um, I yeah. mean, Flynn is the furthest, and he is. Is that still within 25? Oh, I can get it too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I actually can indicate a point too, so I could put it at the corner of the house if sure. I needed to. Um, oh, so good. Yeah. Oh. And so it's just gonna. Artemis is going so, down. Yeah. So How much cool. help did we all get? Let's back? all find out right now. <laughs> do do the do the rolls. <laughs> we all need this right yeah, now. This we all need it. No, no. I'm literally. Okay. And I'm going to so burn thankful. a divine ember to empower that. Anything. Oh. Yes. Anything above Stu, one is great. I invite you to. <laughs> Uh, slightly better. Wait, why invite? Why can't you do it twice, can I? <laughs> no. Yeah, okay. why not? Okay. Just, <laughs> do that. Just keep doing it until you like no, it. In general, it means so much. <laughs> so it just means so much works. overall. Yeah. It's yeah. Uh, Seeker, you get Max anyway. Because great yeah. players. Great players. Yes. You get Max. You get Max. Whoa. So, so whatever 3D8 yes, is. Uh, 24. 24 plus That's 5. Really 29. Yeah. yeah. So 29. Oh, yeah. For, for real this time? Yeah. For real. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Um, and then everybody else gets uh, fucking, uh, what is that, 15? 8 plus 7 is 15, yep. plus 5, which is 20. Everybody else gets 20 Yay. points. Yay! Yeah. Thank you. Feel a sick. I do, <laughs> but happy. No, no one can see under the helm, sick. so it's fine. It's no fine, one can yeah. see under the helm, it's Back good. Three, uh, Desley, three can you let me know what your HP is right now? 3D8 yeah. plus 5. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank yep. you. Yes. Oh, I'm oh, I feel oh. Hey, hey, why, why do you want to know so bad? Thanks. <laughs> why, um, why are you working? Because I am coming for you. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. You will not survive. Let Guess it. what? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Let it be known. <laughs> be hassle's coming. Um, uh, how much was that? 24? Because I also get that. It was 20. It was 20 total. 20, 20 total. 20 total. Yeah, yeah. 20 total. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Um, yeah, you also get that. Make yeah. sure you get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We all uh, needed that. I had yeah, you glass. cannot go. Yeah. No. That's great. You that really helps. So because uh, I just kept like getting blasted in the center. The arrows are dirty. Those AOEs are serious. Bro. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna give Alma a reassuring look as that as as the the, the curtain sort of falls away from me. Um, and I just give a give a wary look in the direction of Alma because I know where yeah. the spells shot from. I pat his arm and thank you. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to go out to the door where Flynn is fighting Artemisia and I'm just gonna stand in that in that doorway and you know what? Inside or outside? Outside. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go right up there. Yeah. And what? I'm gonna and just and just like lock eyes and, and give her a shake of my head like she's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, get up in there, bud. Get up coins. in there, bud. This is yeah. when you want a coin. Yeah. Do we have a coin? No. Nope. No. Also, I don't know if it would work actually, because she's got to ma- negate magic on well, her. I feel yeah, like if you put her it, out and then take the string and off, then and then put the. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will um, if I can. Do, um, just, just give a look to Flynn and say, "This one lives." Uh, oh. 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 And and if Flynn can take that out every once, okay. that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. All others may die. I mean, that's <laughs> real cold-blooded to say somebody yeah, yeah. who just walked up to in a fight. This is cold-blooded. <laughs> this one lives. All right. Next up, we got a couple mages yep. coming through. Um, that's problematic. So let's see. We've got the mage, <laughs> mage on the rooftop. Are they stunned still? No, it, it ended at the end of my it turn. It ended at the end of your mm-hmm. turn. I'm not. So we have got those two mages right there. What are they going to do? Cry. They're gonna weep. Crying is a three action. action. Oh, I'm enemy. so sorry. Unless it's an enemy, and then it's all their action. Uh, They're gonna go back for reinforcements. 
<laughs> yeah, they are really concerned. They're going to cry as a reaction, and they're going to use a bonus action to cry to additionally. Oh, okay. yeah. And they're going to use their action, action? to sob. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say yeah. to dash away. Yeah. But that curl only... into the fetal position. <laughs> yeah. and get reaction to cry. To get into the fetal position. They go prone on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> We're okay, oh, are right? any of these we're working? I think, I think these are working. These sound like help. great options. We're help. <laughs> I, I did not hear a single word of anything you guys said. He's in the zone, ladies and gentlemen. He's so bad. He's, 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 he's cooking right now. He's in the DM zone. I don't like, I don't like he's what the DM is cooking. He's making a five-star meal the back there. Fried. About to I don't cook like this, up yeah. a death. I don't like this Michelin like star. No yeah, death smoothie he's got going on over here. I don't. Uh, it is a smoothie of death. <laughs> yeah, it's true. You mean a filet mignon? This freaking blender we're in. Yeah. You mean? yeah. No no dude, that's what like I want. I'm surrounded by. Star. I mean, dude, props. Such I want nothing less. Terrible. Oh, I love it. Okay. Okay. They're all so it. far away. <gasps> two, two of the mages. One of them that is on the roof, and one of them that is in the alleyway. They are going to use their final third level spell slot. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cast a couple fireballs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. They are going to see if they can position these yeah. as such. Now, this is the part that I'm going to explain out loud, and please tell me if this is incredibly unfair. But they are probably going to position them in a way to where it might go in the doorway that Ulma is in. I will give you half cover, though, for your dexterity Saving throw. It's, it's there off. was no specification. Uh, yes, oh, it was off its hinges. Uh, yeah. So I, I, is that I'm totally gonna you, wild? Uh, sure. or? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to at least counterspell one of these. And can I use my source? Can I use a sorcery point to twin spell a counterspell? Oh, during um, a reaction. How? Do, what is this? Does it say? It's yeah, it's twin it says spell. no action. Twin spell says no action. It just action. is a thing. It's does it say like what kind it. of attack? What kind of spell it has to be? Attack, saving throw. Can it you? Can you read? It's I will, just I will, I will. a spell. Yeah. Be that would be awesome. Uh, that would be so fucking spell. cool. Yeah. So, <laughs> so the door is open then. Twin spell. You can spend okay. sorcery oh, points. Oh, 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 okay. 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 You can spend sorcery points equal to the spell's level. In this case, three. Um, to target a second creature in range with the same spell, as long as the spell at the level it's being cast is incapable of targeting more than one creature. And counterspell is incapable of countering more than one creature. You counterspell else. I see no reason to not. I so I'm going to twin Ooh. spell okay. so cool three shit. sorcery points, <laughs> and I am going to cast this. So you can figure out where the, if there's another one that's going to throw it. But I am going to counterspell. There is a, a, a third. Uh, where, let me see. I'm is go- there another one? I'm going to counterspell two of them. Mm-hmm. Cool. That's counter. Okay. They're counterspelled. Um, see. <laughs> <laughs> what? I just like, you do. Okay, they're gone. <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. <laughs> um, seeker. Awesome. Um, picking my head up, shaking it. Uh, oh, yeah. Head by the gods. And I, um, I roll over and look at the totem and, um, and make, make, I will, um, I will stand up and pick it up. Oh. And, I will see Barrett, and I'm I'm going to um, turn it, but not to open it. I'm going to turn it to use it. And I, mm-hmm. Got three fireballs in there. Uh, no, heck yeah. yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. Could you use all of them? That would be insane. Nice. It's, okay. it's one spell per yeah. Um But that's but still you can throw it three fireballs get... all at once. That'd be so wild. You could probably oh. destroy um, the house, yeah. So I am going to... I'm going to th- activate it in order to throw a fireball, and I want to catch at the edge of it, Hastel. Um, and I want to try some looking back. Nice. That 20. Um, I want to slide it over to the right. I want to try and get at least one of these mages. One of them is in there. One of them's so on the one of them is already two. Sorry, let me. I can get two if we go. Here, let me, because that was just a really crude. Yeah. So what is it? A, it's a 24 radius. 24 radius, radius yeah. So that is 5, 10, 15, 20. Boom, there we got this. Move my right. bone. Woo! Sheesh. And the boys big. got three of those. So I think... That's a big so, boy. Yeah. I just think, yeah. You wouldn't be best. able to... This right here, that would be your best. That's, the yeah, that's pretty big. Take it the warden. The warden, really two yeah. guards, and this man. Or, that's the warden is just getting cooked. Yeah. 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 Literally. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Um, yeah. Unless you Seeker, want two of the mages and one of them. Unless you value yeah. a single mage over two guards. So that's that math is just up to you. Yeah. Oh, I see. You I could get hate mages. both mages or one <laughs> mage and two guards. 
Um, but either way, the warden is... They don't have any more Last I was up, I saw them hurling fireballs. I don't know if they're out, so... Mm-hmm. I want to get these mages. Yes. Okay. That's smart. Um, so I, I will... I, I'm I'm going to hold up the... Uh, hold up the totem, turn it. So I normally turn it... Um, what is that? That's... Well, counterclockwise? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Turn it clockwise. <laughs> Take I'm, a moment. Righty tidy left you Lucy. Righty. It's been a while. Uh, so I turn it, and I look at Hastel dead in his eye, and I say, with my offering, I honor the gifts given, and I cast the third level fireball. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you, are, you have decided you were getting the mages, correct? Yes. Is this okay. the kind of fireball that's actually went off, like gone off? Gone off. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Oh, yeah. Okay. And reuse. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that is, um, I'll, I'll have you roll this. That is going to be the 3D 8 10. D6. Um, 8d6, and then I'm going to be rolling those yes, well, uh, I have a lot of D6s. dexterity saving throws. Do you need yeah. any more? Let me know. No, no I'm, I'm okay. good. It's oh, right oh, in my okay, wheelhouse. Okay, nice. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's a rogue, ladies yeah, and gentlemen. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he got D6s in the state. Oh. Okay. oh, it's so satisfying. It is. It's great. Uh, there. I like all the And clonking. before you start to deal the damage, I will just specify all three of them miserably fail. Yeah. Oh. So this is going to be full damage for all of them. Yeah, Amazing. I just like how Barrett's already on fire, oh, like already burnt, just, and he's just like more uh, fire damage. Also, he's like half of his charred already. Like, he's also he's covered in the... Are you, are, you're watery now, though, yeah? Well, or, mm. oh, you're both? Well, I can only do one elemental form at a time, but the genasi is different, so I am fire oh. and water right now. So, so, yeah. Yeah. So he's, he's also... Yeah. Just, yeah. just so you guys know, if he dies from my immolation... Mm-hmm. He turns to ash. Yeah, he gonzo. Yeah, he's he done. Yeah. Like what? he's done, done. Like he he cannot, cannot be, be revivified. Yeah. Oh, he's like oh oh wow. Yeah. If he but dies from my immolation, they would have to get some somebody have to do like some true that, resurrection on yeah. that dude. Yeah. No, I mean there's nothing not even a part of him left. Like I don't know how. Yeah, but you can true resurrection. True resurrection. That's true. Anything. That's true. Yeah. But all yeah. yeah. level slot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seeker, what is that damage? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven to all three of them. Yeah. Is that halved or no? They all no. They all fail. Yeah, they all fail. Yeah. That's 81 points of damage in a turn when you combine it across. Hey, that's, that's what you did. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. Yeah. To I threw it back at like I caught it. Yeah. And then I threw it back at him. <laughs> it would be great if you just went up and played him, though. Yeah, it would be. Okay, this massive fireball, go- fireball goes off, and it just burns everything in its path. The tree that's in the middle of everyone oh is completely burned to ashes. Oh God. A huge, Sorry, Sunplume. A huge <laughs> chunk of this house that the mage is standing on completely burns away. They oh. are going to do a dexterity saving throw to see if they are still on top or they fall oh. into the flay. They are able to just stumble over um, the the destroyed part, but they are cooked. Mm. Um, and same with the warden. He is cooked, but he is still up and looking at you. Okay. Is that your action? Um, that was my action for my... Mm. I am going to. Can I see how many, how much distance it would be to get over to where Artemisia is? So that would be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five feet of movement for you. You'd be able to get there, or thirty if you wanted to position yourself differently. All right. So instead, I am going to go around the corner where the mage is, like off of my, like uh, the one that, yeah, that one. I'm gonna go as far around that building as I can. I'm gonna use a bonus action to disengage. With okay, them, so, I don't so that is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You wanna go 30. full movement? Yeah. Okay. And uh, that will be my turn. Okay, this guard way over here, <laughs> this guard is going to take a step back and I doubt- He's really running away? Anyone would see this, but- you crying? I'm gonna keep passing that out there. <laughs> no, crying? You crying? <laughs> He is going to take a kneeling position. Oh no, he's gonna go fetal. And he is going to Boy. adjust his crossbow. And there's a little switch on the side. So he switches his crossbow and like the crossbow magically sort of extends. Mm-hmm. And this, oh, he's about um, to snipe. He's sniping. He's yeah, setting this, up a um, tripod over here. What do, you, what do you call it? The thing that goes in your shoulder when you hit. Uh, the stock. Uh, stock. Uh, stock. Uh, this, this <laughs> okay, boys. <laughs> This wood stock apparates into his shoulder and he kneels down and the um, the uh, extension on the front of the crossbow elongates even further. And he is going to try and take a shot at Brim. So Brim, this is gonna be 
a 23 to hit. Intercepted. I will <gasps> use oh. my reaction to catch it. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. Oh. <laughs> you raise your yeah, hand and it's Yeah, we both go yeah. and like, what? It's mine. Oh, that's mine. amazing, no, no, no. though. That's, that's, that's hard hit your arm. Yeah. 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 While you're arguing, he's Dinger. like, what? Yeah. No, I'll, I'll go and then I'll realize he's got it. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so that 23 to hit is completely so, negated, uh, correct? Uh, well, let's find out. So immediately after you take, nope, that's the wrong thing. Uh, Deflect missiles, there it is. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. 1d10 plus my dex mod plus my monk level. Holy um, shit, that's probably really fucking so, high. Fuck. So that's oh. one. Um, but one plus five is six plus, what did it say? My monk, monk level? Your monk level. Uh, is teen 11? Teen 11? 11? 11? 11? 11? It negates 11 points of damage. So it negates 17 points of damage. Oh, 17 yeah. points yeah. of damage. 11 okay. plus the six. The, the max on that is not even going to reach. And then I will spend a key and chuck it right at uh, oh! General, uh, what's his name? Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Is that, wait, I, it, does that technically Never mind. I'll just, attack? I'll just, yeah, yeah. Because I'll okay. be at disadvantage to do it. So I'll just <laughs> catch it and then it just drops to the ground. Okay. So Not actually, today. I catch it and then I turn it up and just, poof, and it just fuck. I um, came away. Oh, okay. Like cool. We almost, we almost turned into floor. team return to sender. Um. All right. And then I'll, I'll share close. a look with Thessaly if I may, just as part of the flavor. I'll be like, thanks. <laughs> I just raise an eyebrow like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Next up, the two dwarven guards that are on the roof to the left are gonna do the exact same thing. They. Go so, over to yeah. this edge of the roof. They yeah. kneel down and they take aim at Flynn. Bring um, it on. Whoop. And with that, that first one is going to be an 18 to hit. M -m 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 Miss. Misses. Okay. And as it misses, it shoots like right past your hip. And normally you would hear like the clatter of a crossbow bolt behind you in the in the rocks. Mm -hmm. But instead you hear the crossbow bolt bury itself into the stone Ooh. of the, of the street safe. behind you. Um, and <laughs> the second one does the exact same thing. Goes over your shoulder, um, buries itself into the rock in the street. Okay. Good work. Yeah. Next up, Desley. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I just, I want to end Baroness. <laughs> Let me double that. Yeah. So okay. I'm just going to stab him again. Yeah, you yeah go for it. Eat him. Eat him. Get him, get him, get him. I, um, ah. I just rolled my two wild magics and I got a 10 and a 14. Okay. So. And I, before you roll those, before you roll those. Yes. Give me a second. Oh. 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 What? Oh. Why? Oh. oh. I'm going to allow those to be at advantage. Oh. Huh? with the intimidation of what Brim just did. Oh! oh. That is so cool. Thank so you. Barrett okay. Hastel is very much... Thank you. That's his attention so cool. has turned to Brim for this moment of him lighting the crossbow bolt on fire. So, make your attacks at advantage, please. I love this. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Okay, okay, okay. So, the first one is a 21. A 21 hits. Okay, nice. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll damage for that. And I am um, pouring a third level Divine Smite. <laughs> yes, you are. Uh, yeah. okay. you are. Let's go. It was always my intention. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Now I have to remember how many. This one. <laughs> Throwing haymakers over because here. Because it's. Love to see it. Oh, it's five. Oh, that's what this does. Last time we ran away from it, so I need to kill him. Seems right. Mm -hmm. Can I get so, one more D8? Desley needs a D8, please. Oh, D8 from yeah. someone pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Okay. So oh, actually, I do need one more for the slashing damage. Yeah, you do. <laughs> How many dice do you have in your hand? Oh my God, so well, third level divine smite plus improved divine smite. It's, it's mm -hmm. a lot. There's oh, a lot yeah. of smiting yeah. going on over here. I love it. 20, 27. <laughs> 5 is 10, 37, and then I get a gravy. Um, and so, uh, 38 points on the first hit. <laughs> okay. Yes. You, wait, you have been very these. vocal about this, so I am going to ask how Barrett Hastel's demise comes about. Yeah. <laughs> please, please describe Beetle. the end of Barrett Hastel. Okay, so helm still up, eyes still glowing, <laughs> memory of Seeker going down and being very concerned about Kellogg, and I am just going to... If you'll allow me, I said it was only one sword, but I would like to use both. And I'm going to get him executioner style, running both. Oh! Of them. I'm a okay. Um, Barrett has to, for a, the briefest moment, with Brim's intimidation of burning the crossbow bolt, his eyes, you see his eyes just waver for half of a moment. 
and by the time he looks back to you, your swords have already crossed through his throat. <gasps> there is a moment of shock and realization painted on his face as his head rolls off of his shoulders. <laughs> and he oh, fuck God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Amazing. Take All one right. off the board. That was man, one attack. Oh, that was one oh, attack. Remind um, me not to piss her off. You know, so... <laughs> You have advantage on Artemisia still, right? I still have advantage on Artemisia unless we've gone 10 rounds, which I don't, I don't think, think no, we have not. Um, and I have my full movement. Yes, yes you, you do. do. You totally uh, and, and you did and not hear me say this one are... lives. <laughs> and I didn't hear that? I don't think so. Yeah, I muttered it. No. It my was... wings are, have been up the whole time. I yeah. look... Yeah. Angelic. Um, or are you going to glide over there? I'm going to fly over to her, oh and I'm going to take the short sword, and I'm going for the ribs. If yeah. I can. Yeah. Truly a vision of death approaching yeah. Artemisia right yeah. now. Uh, yeah, so that, that would so be at advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, still. Yeah, Vow of Enmity. Yeah, Vow. Vow of Enmity, yeah. Oh, yeah, because I have Vow of Enmity. Okay. Okay, so uh, does a 19 hit her? Uh, 19 hits. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice. Sorry, I'm very <laughs> so good. It's so good. Oh, he's turning it around. Yeah. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, and I'm I'm pouring oh, my wine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one, this one will be at second. She's a little, yeah. she's a oh, little uh, okay. A little salty. Lighter on the. Yeah. I just like that. What happens if we okay. kill all of the leads? Like, what does everybody else yeah, do? Okay. On the table? If we kill the leaders, then we could just be like, "Do you want to die too?" Like, yeah. We could try doing that. Or Cut eight. off the head, right? Yeah. Maybe. I didn't roll as high on this one. Cut off the head of this. <laughs> 11, I didn't roll 40 points of damage. 19, 3, uh, is 22 points of damage on that one. Nice. 22 points of damage, okay. And it's yeah, going, let me do I, some math like, real quick. Right into her sternum, like right between her fucking way. Like a gust of wind just like pours over me and flames. <laughs> I like go, my yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to do some math because I can't do this math. And okay, okay. I'm telling you, it's going to be close. Sonic boom. I can also, I haven't used a bonus action yet, but <laughs> we need to pop her back up. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering. So Artemisia is fully facing both Kellic and Flint. Yeah. yeah. And then you, your wings furl out, you glide over, and in one motion, you take your sword and from behind, stab her through the ribs. And Flynn, from the other side, all you see is these wings Furl out from the back That's of Artemisia, so cool. so and you cool. see a sword go through her abdomen. Oh, jeez. As Kellick, she looks to you, blood starts to pour out of her mouth, and she drops to her knees. I'm going to let you have oh. a reaction to this. <gasps> oh. Oh. Do you want to keep her? Am I aware that she's. This is her dying. I mean, moment. these are yeah. her last moments. Uh, it might not be currently, but as soon as that sword comes out, she will gonna be. be over. Cool. So, okay, like I will give you the decision if Artemisia lives or dies. Oh! 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 That is so cool. Up to you. Oh boy. Um. Yes, yeah, it's all kind of happening in slow motion as I see Thessaly of all people <laughs> skewering Artemisia of all people. Oh, I I look down at the symbol in my hand, the golden rings of light, of generosity and kindness and empathy. And I I I glare at Artemisia, and I squeeze my hand to the point where blood is coming out from around the scar, around the rings. Nondo. I can't spare the dying. Oh. Okay. Thessaly, in that exact moment that Kelly cast spare the dying, you pull your sword out. As in that moment, Kelly, you save Artemisia. Her eyes roll back. She falls to the ground, unconscious. All of the other guards turn and see this. See the warden beheaded <laughs> in the in the center square of town. The Artemisia unconscious. The Dwarven guards are going to turn and run as you can just hear the pattering of their footsteps on the tile roofs. And you hear voom, 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 as the four mages disappear from the battlefield. Mm -hmm. 
And as you all take a moment to look around, take a breath, Flynn, battle has been crazy. And you take a moment, you realize you won this battle without asking for help. Seeker, first time using this tribute totem in battle, and it truly was like having another hand in combat. You didn't think twice about it. Desily, just <laughs> an absolute monster on the battlefield. <laughs> um, really taking credit for taking down both of the true threats and also using the helmet of vengeance and the wings in such an intuitive manner. Ulma counterspelling left and right and Kellick making the choice to spare a mentor turned enemy. You all level up. (gasps) And as you do, I would like to invite Seth to come on over and take a seat in the DM's chair. I'm going to close out my things and swap places. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot right there. <laughs> there it is. <clears throat> you're, you're nagging. Yeah, you can come right here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Good luck. Thanks. You're going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> It's sweat. It's sweat. It's all sweat. It's my little bit of something. <laughs> just, 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 just. God. Ooh, it suits you. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> look at oh, you. Man, this is such look a different you. Hey, you. <laughs> um, you guys look beautiful. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if this will, Ethan. Thank you so much um, for uh, trusting me with this. Thank you all for trusting me with this. Um, and I hope to do it all justice because you guys have built something really, really amazing. All right. As the battlefield calm slowly descends over this town square, doors locked, the snow sort of gently falling in the aftermath of this revolution, resolution of a sorts. In a big way for many of you. Kellick, you see at your feet, by your mercy, the form of Artemisia lying on the ground. As the blood still drips from Thessaly's swords, each of you take in the scene, the flames sort of engulfing this, uh, this part of the, this town square. So as this silence descends over the battlefield, the form of Baron Hastel still engulfed in flames from Oma's immolation, unless you decide otherwise. Nope. Still engulfed in flames. <laughs> <laughs> Vanishes into ash on the wind. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Let's go, dude. I'm just real quick, since the whole Barrett Hastel thing, I have been trying to keep an eye on Kellick. How do you look? Um, not great. Okay, I'm gonna rush over to you, and as I do so, the ooh. yeah, I've kept up sort of a veneer in my staring down of Artemisia of like, uh, as I am wont to do, keeping my posture really upright and trying to like be imposing. But as soon as she hits the ground, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm going straight to you. Um, wings still up, but the helm goes down. Eyes stop glowing as uh, I like. I'm gonna keep flying over and I'm gonna take one hand and then put my other hand to your face and I'm going to touch you in order to give you all 60 of my lay on hands pool immediately. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, what, is that, what does that look like when Thessaly does that, her, her lay on hands? So uh, like this crystalline sort of um, star-like uh, glow emanates from my heart, like in my chest, and then it pours down into my arm and into my fingertips. And so where I'm holding his hand and touching his face, like the light will transmit to him and give him healing. Awesome. The light sort of trickles down and covers your wounds as they begin to close. Um, how's Thessaly looking? Ooh. <laughs> uh, you've seen her worse. 
I've, I've definitely looked worse, but I, I don't look great. I look tired. Well, as you're sort of leaning into me, I'll also, I'll put my hand up to your face and I'll cast oh. Cure Wounds. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll say, and then... <laughs> A beautiful moment. <laughs> and you know what? Oh. I'm going to ask Vermeer to do it. <gasps> Okay. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna wake her Eve. up oh. to do it. Oh my my! Oh, 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 my. <laughs> so I don't want you to be sick, right? Oh, my the... literally, oh my star! Yeah. <laughs> oh my literal star! <laughs> oh man, that is gonna be. She's gonna be mad at you. <laughs> uh, so Eleven, uh, uh, sixteen points of healing from from Vimir. Is there nausea? Not with. Oh, uh, is there? Is nausea? Nausea? there a DM? Does it work? So, Kellogg, as you reach for the familiar magic of Amir, is there anything you do or say to reach out to that source that you have gone a time without? Well, I'm going to, as I've long done in my life, uh, speak to Famir just in my head. <laughs> and I'll, I'll sort of um, regard Artemisia as I'm doing it. I gave you this one. Give me a bit back. Mm. And and channel try and channel just through the golden uh, symbol um, without any of the ashes. Um, that light magic to heal Thessaly. As you look into Thessaly's eyes, there's a moment where nothing happens. And then in her eyes you see reflected behind you the stars of the Long Eve. Mm. And they kind of flare gently in Thessaly's eyes as the symbol in your palm comes to life. And your healing magic washes over. And there is no sickness. Um. Hey. Hi. Let's not do that again. You scared me. <laughs> oh, why? Um. Is that under control? Mm. Yeah, the from from the big scary big sword guy back there. You had not so scary now, is he? No, he's um he's very dead. Yeah. If you feel alright about that, I feel okay. I'm wondering how you all feel about me feeling okay about that. Ah. <laughs> uh, I thought he was gonna kill I, you. So. No, I. Uh, I'm doing fine, by the way. Plan to be. I still have you. I still have you. Just hands are holding each other. Yeah. I gotta break away. I got Flynn. Do you need healing? No, I'm okay. Oh, uh, I'm I'm like limping into the scene. Oh uh, yeah, I've been better too. Do you need? Do, what do uh, we do with her? Kelly, what do we do oh, with? Her? I have a suggestion. I like trot over and I pull like I'm pulling my hood down as I come over. Oh. Oh, I have a suggestion. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Lay it on us all. Well, we gotta go. Yes. So we don't have a lot of time to like take her back to anywhere, but maybe we can ask Keeper to like put her in some kind of. Could he yeah, maybe. contain her? I don't know what the limitations are of Keeper's ability. We're I mean, pulling. if we tie her up and chamber, tie up her mouth, she probably can't cut. She's it. already got. She's got the, the string on. on her. That she doesn't know is on. Oh, her. did you put? So if her hands are tied, then she can't take it off. Hey, uh, just She's got one no idea. magic. One, uh, one thing. One idea. Is there a way we could use like uh, some kind of a word so we know that you've done that? That's a really good suggestion. Um. Okay, Bumblebee. No, that we already we have that already. That's, that's like if if one of if, us. Is oh, and we need it again control. now because of the mind control. Shh, right. What it knows. <laughs> As I look over. <laughs> We have that already. We can come up with it later. I just... Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, uh, sure. It's a good suggestion. I don't know the answer. And I look at the totem in my hand. I say, probably could use one for this, too. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry if it bothered you all. Uh, well, it just makes it a little tough. Uh, it when was... I'm bleeding out of my stomach and I can't <laughs> use any magic to heal it, I do... It hit just a little. <laughs> but it all turned out. It, fine. And when it, it I helped stop but, people from doing things, it, it makes me it a little did, frustrated. It did eat about three fireballs or some or something like that. It 
it swallowed Hi. some good spells that I think would have knocked us off our feet, so. I liked it. <laughs> from, <laughs> says, from, from the center. Well, of course you did. Also, what? You, you were great. <laughs> Brim's still lit up. Like is a, he like a water person, yeah, so, water elemental so now? So Brim is sort of standing in the middle, and during this part, he actually... Um, he kind of reaches over and pulls the water from the well and sort of like sends it coursing along his arms. He kind of goes down to a very low sort of martial arts stance and he pushes it towards um, the burning house and the tree to put that fire out. Um, mm. That's, that's cool nice of him to do. We should have done, thought about oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and I can't move water like that all the time. Um, um, well, neither <laughs> can I. And uh, and then with his eventually though the the fiery sort of magma look of him does fade. His hair sort of comes back down around his shoulders, and the eyes sort of the, the, like just slowly the black and sort of lava of his skin goes back and recedes into just the red and black sort of fissured look of his eyes. Can all the monks do that? Uh, like, could I have done that if I stayed? Not that. Oh, okay. That's a you thing. But maybe this. And um, he's going to spend uh, six key points. Oh, how oh. many key points does he have? Yeah. Um, that's it. Uh, <laughs> just about. I th- he's got 13. Um, <laughs> so he's like, we're going to use them all. So. He's going to spend six key points, and he sort of sends the water towards you, and it slowly kind of swirls around you, um, and you will regain 38 hit points. <gasps> oh. yeah. So uh, as that's happening, I'm going to cut a glance over at this. Hmm. Thank oh. you. Okay, that's really cool. That is pretty cool. It's, that's so we'll take Artemisia back and we'll ask Keeper to to keep her. Right. And then we'll go to the monastery. Um, yeah, we should probably get moving. I'm um, binding her arms and legs. Uh, yeah, okay. and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Getting something over are her you, eyes and mouth. She seems pretty dangerous. Are you guys? Are we sure we want to leave her with Keeper? I can carry her. Do you have a better suggestion? Not exactly. I got nothing on my then, hundred tons. Unfortunately, Wait. no. She looks a little slight to me. I keeper said he can take away all of the air from a room. Oh, so air. I mean, and he doesn't need air. He doesn't need air. <laughs> she does need air, and we don't want her to die. She so could just like choke her out, essentially. If she gets out, yes. Mm-hmm. Right. We got to see what kind of defensive prisons that keeper has. Maybe there's something for something like that. I mean, maybe he can just like. Uh, mm. get rid of a door, like in the chamber. Maybe. There, he he, like had to do a special thing to make the door. If open. I'm the red wolf, uh, there's I'm entertaining the possibility that Artemisia turns on me, right? I I would think. I don't know how paranoid Lord Afton was, but mm-hmm. he was certainly a psychopath. I also don't know, Brim. I don't know how you feel about bringing someone like this into the monastery. So that's also kind of your call, right? Um. Put me in a really weird position. Um, I mean, welcome to the group. Take, well, because here's the thing: if we take her back right now, it's easy to get there, but it's not easy to get back here. That's right. That's true. No, we have to keep going. That's she a good point. Would, the monks of the monastery can definitely handle one person. There's several of us. I am loath to leave her with anyone that I don't know, or so I might have bring, an agenda. So you want to bring her with us? She. There's nothing I can She's her. proof that I'm... But I, I could get my old life back. The temple. But... I can prove that I wasn't lying. Oh. But you're an agent. I know. You don't want your old life at the temple back. Well, only he, he might. No, he wants to stay with us. Like 45, well... 30 some years of... A life. That yeah, this but- woman stole from me. That's all. I, I just, I can't lose her. Can, can we take her with us? Well, That's... I'm worried that we have days to travel. How, are we going to be able to keep her locked up? Oh, uh, I can it... knock people out pretty good, Flynn. I sure, can... but you might be sleeping at that moment. I well? Can, I can put her to sleep. She oh, can't right. cast right now, so if we gag her, she's done. Maybe eventually she finds out. I'm just saying, maybe it's better to have her locked up than just, like, laying on okay. the side of the... It's okay. We'll have her come with us, and we'll just keep watch. We're going to have to keep watch, anyway, keep watch anyway. And and I can also punch pretty hard. Um, yes. So so I think I think we'll be okay. After all, six sets of eyes are better than just keepers. That's true. 
Right, and Keeper can remove the air from a room, but I don't know how good he is in it. Well, well also, well, if time stops, if for example. If she does that thing where she stops time. Right. Well, she doesn't have her hands right now, and she mm-hmm. can't do any magic. True. Um, True. But, uh, but I think, so we keep her with us. Yes. We keep her with us. Okay, can someone gag her? Oh, I can I've do already. it. Oh, you did it? Oh, wow, you're yeah. fast. Is she awake or asleep right now? She's unconscious. Yeah. I'm covering eyes, gagging mouth. I've gagged mouth, cut, cut, uh, tied up yeah. hands and feet. And we'll be able to carry her for days on end? Go to make us. Um, I'm going to call this a survival check for not tying. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, and then, uh, Shane, if I could have you roll a d4 for me. Um, Ooh. One plus. Poor May I know what? Uh, yes, this is to determine how long um, she's unconscious. She's unconscious. For. Uh. Uh, one. Oh, one. Okay, so she's unconscious for two hours. You, uh, I would say Kellick, with his knowledge of medicine and what he, he, he you know, you got a couple hours before she regains consciousness. Okay. Okay. And that was a we'll seven. Just... Seven. Okay. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Super good knots. Yeah. And then we'll just put her to sleep. See if we can do that, right? If she wakes up, yes. Um, using... Can I look over all the knots that were done and like just like double check yeah, them, or like to double check? So, like them. I'm watching him; he's kind of distracted while he's doing it, and I'm just sure. Um, I'll say, yeah. If you when you look him, there's definitely room for improvement on the knot, <laughs> so you could point it out to him if you like. You gotta, you gotta pay attention, Seeker. You're making that one. That one, it's gonna fall out uh, in like two seconds if she wiggles a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I just um. Go and roll again. It's really difficult difficult I'm, I'm, I'm nearly dying. He's a little tired, and I'm gonna, as he does that, I will give him healing hands, hand on his shoulder. You can heal 12. Oh, that helped. Uh, eight? Hey, what did I roll the first time? Seven. Seven, seven. seven. Oh, yeah. You, you oh, roll with geez. advantage, because Oma's pointing that, out. Well, I mean, unless that, oh, was, yeah. unless no, that was the first time yeah, that was well, advantage. I'll let you re-roll with advantage. Hey. Have you? That's Thank 19. You. There it is. And you're doing good. You're doing good. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just wait. I get a lot meaner. Uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you. That's you have you have the power to take it away. <laughs> you have the power to say I that second one didn't count. I can take it. <laughs> oh, oh my good good catch. I, I wasn't feeling too good. I'm uh, sorry. No. I'm not trying to make fun of you. It's it's okay. It's <gasps> kind of if you didn't, it would be weirder. Yeah. So it's okay. We should go. Yes. We should go Before now. more people come. Right. How long is she asleep for, Kellick? A uh, couple hours. Okay. Carrying her. I got her. That's the way. And I'll stay right away. Yeah. Right. Keep my eye on her. And I do like a sack of potatoes, like no care given. Yeah. <laughs> Just the, the head like funk off the back of the plate. Man. I actually have a quick question. Um, mm-hmm. When I was standing there silently <laughs> watching them like heal each other or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, did I get, each like, other? Any t- did I get a vibe? Roll for sexual tension. <laughs> <laughs> because I called it out to you. Like, I'm going to stand in there watching this. I'm like, oh, yeah, so what do you... I just like the idea. All right. I'm going to go ahead and give you advantage. Okay. <laughs> that was boy. I was right there. <laughs> I, just, I just like the idea of Flynn being right there as, the like, whole time. two characters <laughs> yeah. are, like, yeah. touching each other, like, holding each other's faces. <laughs> Oh, you said inside? Yeah, yeah. Going rolling inside. Okay. <laughs> They're holding each other's faces, and Here's Flynn right. is still like, what's going on here? Yeah. <laughs> what's uh, going on? Yeah. When I was in your head, I was like, what was that? It's yeah, so what was that? It seems um, 13. 13. I would say you, like, you're definitely got an inkling, but this is... Mm. That, that was that was a little odd. I'll More than that. healing. Yeah. Okay. Like, was a little too lingering. Okay, lingering there was some lingering. Look. Okay. There was a little yeah, lingering. There was lingering. A little lingering. Oh, oh, definitely. Strong okay. lingering. Okay, yeah. good to know. Good to know. Strong lingering vibes. <laughs> All right, I, I just give a little squint to both of them, uh, and then I just like, no, don't say anything. Do you need healing, Flynn? You you okay? No, I'm 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 fine. I'm I'm good. All right. Looks I think weird. I got some from Kelly during the fight, and that kind of I kind of took away some of the wounds that I had. I really didn't get hit too much. I no, can, good for you. Must be nice. If, uh, yeah. if anyone needs looked after, I can. Do some while we're on our way. Uh, on maybe on yeah on the way. Yeah, I can um, I will kind of, kind of like pointing Kellek, uh, maybe Flynn. I can, I can help hasten travel, for those of us that could use it. Oh, um, I'm good, but I think you should hasten some people. You are pretty yeah. fast. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a little and I, slow. I glare at Brim. It's got some little legs. <laughs> His legs are, but yeah. I think he's pretty fast too. I don't want you to stop it. <laughs> he's not fast. <laughs> I give the most gentle elbow so <laughs> I don't hurt you. He's a little fast. You don't get this. And I will pull it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of you coming. 
The rest I of will you come. Home. I love it. The rest Petulant. of you come here. Okay. All right. And I will pull some sand uh, from the pouch on my on my belt and just whisper, hot. And as I toss the sand towards our feet, it uh, turns into uh, like um, like the grains just kind of turn fall into this purple plasma and wrap your feet. And you, I've cast Long Strider on. Oh, what does that do? Um, yeah. So I can do. So I can. Who? So one, two, three, four. So I'll do two castings, um, and you all get ten extra feet of movement on your. Hey. Okay, yeah. so they match. They match yeah, yeah, so we'll be closer now. to you guys. Cool. Uh, I don't know what you're at. It lasts an hour. Okay, cool. Yeah, Forty, but. All right, let's get going. Um, and I'm just gonna give Seeker a quick pat on the shoulder, which would be quite different than previously. And cast your wounds. My head. And I'll, I'll just, uh, it's uh, 13, 16 plus, so 21 points of healing. Ah. Uh, um, oh. as, the, as the wounds that you have um, get stitched together with the, the ashes that kind of like pour out of my hand over them, they like crawl across your body to find the places and like weave them back together. Just start rolling my shoulders. Ah, uh, so much better. Almost perfect. Is there any lingering? Little. No. <laughs> It's actually very obviously not. Does he, yeah. Now Does you're like, even more. No, like, like, more like, stark contrast. Was it, more like, uh, was it more like it's a hit? It's literally like a yeah. hit. Yeah. 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 It's like pushing me forward. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just the... yeah. take, take this and go. Yeah. All right. No eye contact. Right. You're well. <laughs> no eye contact. <laughs> as, the, uh, as the magic of Seeker's spell sort of takes hold of all of you, you feel that sort of buoyancy to your steps. Um, and uh, as uh, as Kellex, uh <laughs> half-hearted cure wounds <laughs> on uh, on Seeker takes hold, you all sort of take stock, look around on this evening, um, and slowly begin. Well, quickly, I suppose, begin to make your way out of the town of Sunplume, leaving behind the ashes and bringing with you maybe something in the future. For Kellogg, Kellogg Gray, and his position within the Temple of Famir. And that is where we're going to go ahead and end tonight's session. <gasps> Thank you so much, Ethan, for all that you have done. We appreciate all of you. I'm very, looking, very much looking forward to taking uh, the next step in this journey with all of you. And of course, thank you all. And uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye, nerds. Bye, Bye nerds! Hey nerds, thanks for listening. If you're wondering what just happened, a few months ago, Ethan came to the rest of the team and let us know that unfortunately he was going to have to take a step back from recording the podcast as our DM. We have a very rigorous recording schedule and there were other things in his life that uh, needed to take priority. So uh, right away, we put our heads together, worked together with Ethan to uh, develop a plan for his departure uh, we thought about maybe me or Russ taking over as DM, but we really did not want to have to retire any of the characters on the show, uh, and we really felt uh, like we needed to close out this story uh, of these characters uh, for you, the audience, and for each other, for all the, the amazing tale we have left to tell. Uh, so we got together with our friend Seth, who's a DM we all know and trust, uh, and Ethan and he have been working together to make sure Seth has all the tools he needs uh, to carry this thing through. Uh, so uh, without further ado, here is a little conversation we recorded, sort of Ethan's uh, remarks for his last uh, recording session. And uh, just a little bit of reminiscing about everything we've done up to this point. Enjoy. Hey, nerds. Um your DM, Ethan, uh, no longer your DM, Ethan, <laughs> transitioning. Um, the last, uh, what has it been, three years, uh, two mm -hmm. of those on the podcast uh, have been just absolutely incredible. I've really had the time of my life being able to DM this table. Um, but now I got to say, as far as, you know, DMs go, we really got one of the best coming in with Seth. Um, everything that Seth and I have done so far, um, at least I hope from my end, has been 
stellar. Everything on uh, from coming from you has been absolutely amazing, um, and so I am I'm really excited to see this transition and see where it goes. Um, I gotta say, everyone at home, you are all in for an absolute treat because the style of DMing that this gentleman does and the generosity in his DMing, um, as well as just the wealth of knowledge that you have about D and D is something that far surpasses mine. Um, so I have absolutely no doubts about the stellar work that you're going to be doing moving into the future. Um, I will just as a little insight to what, what we've been working on, obviously there's a big lore dump that comes in with this and, and lots of back and forth and discussion of story and things like that. Mm. Um, and when I tell you that this man is a sponge for <laughs> nerd information, <laughs> yeah. it is incredible. So I just, and I'm saying all of this as a reassurance because I know any sort of swap or change in a show like this can be, um, as, as a viewer, a little bit scary, a little bit daunting. So I, I'm just trying to be as reassuring as possible that, you know, we sat and the first time we sat down and spoke, I think we spoke for an hour and I think I monologued for an hour <laughs> on everything, just ranting. And at the end of it, I said, man, I hope that wasn't too confusing for you. And there was a slight pause. And then you said, so let me get this straight. So at the start of the campaign, there was this, this, and this, and then there was all this, this, and this. And when I say word for word, there were names, there were locations, there was all this stuff. So it, it was, it's really been an incredible process so far um, to, to be working with you. And that's another thing is that that is going to continue into the future, even though I'm not going to be on screen, I'm not going to be on camera um, behind the microphone. Um, I still hope to, to help with anything that comes up with you. So... I'm not dying. I'm not permanently going away. I will I will still be around and hopefully helping as much as I can. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a transition and you all are in, and everyone at the table as well, incredible hands with Seth. So that's my little spiel. Um, you're going to do great. Freaking- get misty over here Jeez, <laughs> yeah. man. you're gonna do amazing um and and there's really no doubt or apprehension in my mind um just with our interactions again i will say your generosity as a dm um is is one of the the main things and i think each and every one of you will figure that out in your own way um and your just investment into D has been incredible well i um to just counterpoint that i you know taking on something like this is it, it wouldn't be possible without all of the incredible work that that you all have done um but i you know anybody who's played D for long enough knows that the, the dm has kind of a special place and there's so much uh in tr- there's so much trust and you know to shepherd a story like this and to keep it going for as long as you have and to to build such a a, a, a wonderful table a wonderful story mm. and of course a a very dedicated uh, audience and following that love these characters and that love the story that you were all telling um is is incredible and no small feat and and Ethan, just what you have, I mean, it's, um, it's very easy to pick up on things when they are incredibly well built and well thought out and the, the, the arcs and the story make sense. And your world is so, so visceral, so real already in my head. Um, and, uh, and it's just amazing what you've done. And I'm just, um, honored to be trusted to, uh, to take it, um, and, uh, and hopefully, uh, carry on a, a, what is becoming a very beautiful tradition already. So, um, thank (laughs) Thank you you from the bottom of my heart and thank you to all of you for, uh, for trusting me and for you guys. Hopefully, um, I don't disappoint you too much. (laughs) (laughs) I think I, I mean, as a player and as one of the original players, I mean, I think I, I speak for myself, but I don't, don't think I'm wrong to speak for Russell and Shane as well, uh, to say, you know, we built this with you and, you know, you brought us Elbor and, uh, even before the cameras were turned on, even before the mics were turned on, we were play testing and having a great time together. And Mm -hmm. after almost Mm -hmm. four years, three, four years now, it's, um, it's going to be sad to lose you every week, but I know that you're not going far and that I, I can't wait for the future of everything else that happens. And, you know, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for, um, helping us bring this to life. Yeah, I remember uh, it was at my like birthday party. I think you were over and we were chatting. We had mm-hmm. I, I had shown you. Yeah, it was your birthday. The recording <laughs> studio that what I had set up that was some somewhat like this, but slightly less 
<laughs> Pretty. Slightly less everything. <laughs> it was a couple of microphones on a table. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And even then, I was like, this is my greatest creation. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then, as sort of on your way out, I was like, I want to do a podcast. Like, I know we've been playing D&D for a little while. I want to do a podcast. And I remember you jumping up and down. I remember you just being like, Aww. yes, like the energy that we both had toward it. Like, right away, I was like, so hype that we were going to get to work on this together. And it has been such a wild ride. And it is totally you know earth shattering to lose you you know and i like rebecca said i know it's not like you're dying you're not going far but i just want i just hope that you you know feel the amount of i I don't know reverence that we have for everything you've done not just in building the world and letting us all inhabit it and explore it and create some of it ourselves the, the 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 license you've given us as creatives to to, to build this world with you, but also in the way that you've been a partner on the podcast and, you know, our logo is so freaking great and you made it, you know what I mean? Like, you and it's like, it, yeah. it's like there's, there's all of these ways in which you have these indelible marks on this show. And I'm sure on our community and, um, yeah, so just like, thank you, <laughs> 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 you know, just thank you. That's, that's all. Appreciate you, Ethan. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like everyone's covered a lot of the things that I wanted to say, but I mean... Uh, uh, it's worth it's, reiterating. It's worth reiterating. Say, yeah, say what been, you feel. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's been amazing having this game, playing playing with you. I remember playtesting this way back when. Oh my God, in, how many in, years in, ago uh, was that at this point? You, you were playing chat. Well, we, you weren't even chatting no, yet. You weren't chatting. No, I don't even remember what I played, but I, I just remember the the description and it just sounded so cool and the potential that we've now been able to kind of like dip our toes into, especially with these last few episodes, just seeing what you've built and what you've been holding on to. And now it's kind of coming up and it's just like, dude, it's been so amazing. And it's, it's going to be sad not having you sitting right here anymore. Um, Cause yeah, I mean, we've been through this since COVID and being on zoom and, Mm-hmm. all the stuff yeah. we had to deal with and the technical issues and you know you've been there and it's been an amazing dm for us and i'm just it's a bum that you're leaving and the an, number of and times i've called partner. you from an airport like it's just oh, bizarre yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah just uh, yeah there have been a... a couple times where w- one of you has called me or like whoever it was that's called me and i've been at work <laughs> and my oh. boss doesn't listen to this so who cares <laughs> and i've been at work and so like i've had to tell my boss like my mom's calling me. Oh, yeah. and I step outside and then I've gotten in trouble multiple times, no. especially because of you. Hey. Because, hey. because hey. I take, when we go on calls, I take two hour lunch breaks. Yeah. Oh, God. oh yeah. My bad. And, no, it's, it's my fault, but it's like, you know, I, I step <laughs> out and like run a call for two hours and just like well, talking about all these ideas. Yeah. And so it's like, yeah, it's just those, those random things that, that come up. But it's like that fun. passion that we're, we're really great grateful for it because that's what we mainly want like with this whole project this whole show Mm -hmm. is just the passion and you had it in spades and you have it in spades i mean and it being able to stick around with us and help us transition is going to be great and it's and like uh, everyone has to do what they have to do with their lives and sometimes that means that you um have phases and you go in and out of things and that is got to move on from things even when you love them and want them to succeed even and, yeah and yeah. so i think like the fact that you were able to like stand up for what you needed from your life yeah. and and like we all know this is a huge like any D game is a huge commitment whether yeah. it's recorded we're or not crazy <laughs> it's absurd we're what we've done here or not, yeah. Yeah. An outrageous people, decision people <laughs> yeah. have games that are going for 30 years and they play every week you know and like there are people who have to have yeah. to have phases of those mm-hmm. and we are so grateful to have been such a long phase in your life and we can't wait till like you would say, hey, I'd love to do a one shot or like, hey, let's play this thing or let's do this. And like the door is wide open and it swings both ways. And we're so, so, so grateful for you. Or maybe you could be a player yeah. too. Who knows? Maybe Who knows a PC arc of some kind. Yeah. 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 I have not played D and D in probably six years. Oh no! I've just DM'd. How was well, it sitting over there? On well, so maybe. How was it sitting so over there for that maybe moment? Maybe we do a Patreon. Maybe we do a Patreon. Stretch, Stretch goals, goals, baby. Stretch goals. goals. Yeah. We're gonna have to fix that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I personally will never forget the first time you reached out. 
on Discord and we're like, oh, hey, yeah. would you be willing to like maybe come do this thing with these people? And I was like, I listened to every episode, yes. <laughs> <laughs> God, I remember being so nervous because I was typing up that message and I'm like, I hope he says yes. I hope he says yes. Like I, I felt like I was in high school, like writing a love letter to my crush <laughs> where I'm like, check box, yes or no. And I'm like, oh my God, if he doesn't say yes, I'm going to be devastated. Yeah. And I'm gonna, what am I going to do? It was like, I got the love letter that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> and yeah. I was just like, absolutely. What do I have to do? Like, let's go. And then to get that initial mini arc and then... You hit me up again. Like, I was, I, I had no expectations, right? Like, it was just like, that was fun. That was awesome. Y'all are just, like, every day in here, I, I still feel like I'm a guest because this is just, like, so fun. And, like, um, that second time you hit me up, I'm just like, really? Like, <laughs> wait, me? <laughs> like, I'm not even that good at this. <laughs> uh, oh, please. And That's not true. Get out of here. But you, man, like, I don't know if you, like, when we do our calls, I don't know if you can hear it, but, like, it doesn't matter what's happening in my day. Like, I'm so pumped to, like, get to rap on the lore and, like, bounce ideas off of you. And you are very giving and you let, you do let us create and be a part of this. And you take our ideas and meld them with yours. And it has been such an awesome experience like this i i will forever this is this table like mm. you man you've done something special so thank you yeah. thank you i've yeah. i've said this before i don't know how much I, I i could stand to say it again you are the best dm i've ever had so <laughs> oh, i'm sorry thank you um <laughs> It's fine. Um, I, I love this table and I love what you've done with it. And I'm, I'm always going to be thankful for coming in. Like we came in, we came in later and yeah. um, I feel like you gave so much care to those conversations. And um, I've never had a DM take as good a care of a character as Thessaly. So I'm sorry. I'm just going to miss you. I'm excited to have you, but I'm going to miss yeah. you. Yeah. So yeah. thank you. Thank Bittersweet you. for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I have no doubt. I mean, just for both of you, talk about, you know, a daunting task coming on mm -hmm. to oh, a yeah. podcast yeah. after, I mean, what was your first episode? Like Do you 60, remember what 63. Episode? Yeah. yeah. After 63 yeah. episodes of a show mm -hmm. <laughs> coming on, that's, that still amazes me to be able to pick it up. And then, you know, like core cast absolutely yeah. oh right yeah. out of the gate right out of the yeah. gate yeah. Yeah. yeah it was yeah it was it was one of those things when both of you came on um we i remember we all had discussions about it of like you guys came on and it was like after the first episode or first two episodes it was like the first two episodes or something and we were like okay yeah this is it like, oh yeah they, yeah we're good uh, yeah i remember <laughs> feeling like some, some apprehension like i hope it all like feels like fine yeah. and then it was like yeah. It it feels better than fine. It's like we were missing this all along. Mm -hmm. and yeah. You guys like fulfilled like essential spots. Immediate like, yeah. agents. Because yeah. we had like been like, oh, let's add a person, and and we're like, okay, well, like, and then it got down to it, and we were like, we want to. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like they're, they're both so good, we can't not yeah. take. We both. want both of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you made that transition like so easy. I'll never yeah. forget totally. sending you the backstory and waiting to get your notes on it. And you messaged me and you were like, I love it. And I was like giggling to myself. I was like, oh, the DM loves my backstory. I did such a good job. I think on the backstory that you sent, I think I changed like one word and that was just the name of a place. And that was yeah, that was, was about it. Yeah. We, we, we filled some things out, but yeah, you didn't do much changing. It was, and that was, that was a lovely phone yeah, call. It was so nice. Killer backstory. I was going to say, that's a damn good backstory. Uh, yeah. mm, I'm so I curious. can't wait to learn more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah. But truly, truly, thank you yeah. for the care and, um, and passion and um, joy you have brought to us and all of them. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, I will say thank you to everyone um it has been an amazing three years um I, I mean an absolute chapter of my life um and you know something that i'll never forget something and that luckily is a format that i can go back and listen to time and yeah. time again yeah. Yeah. Um, luckily enough and not going anywhere mm -hmm. i mean one of one of the things that i'm really looking forward to and and i'm excited to do is to be a listener Mm -hmm. to this story now to I not know the yeah. twists and turns that yeah. are going to take obviously we're still going to have some contact so uh, sure. we'll be able to you know brainstorm and stuff oh and, i'm gonna bug and, you 
all the time. I hope so. <laughs> I, 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 you guys think you bug Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, like, hey, I slacked you. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, even listening because like I'm not going to be here in person. So as all DMs know, you can prep and you can prep and you can prep. But then as soon She's as... It's going to change. Yeah, it's yeah. going to no, change. No plan so, survives first contact with the players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get yeah. wrecked. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. So being able to be a listener again, I'm, I'm really looking forward to. And then, um, yeah, just really grateful that I can... Again, look back and listen to the story again um, and, uh, yeah, be a listener. So I'm really much looking forward to that. So I will, uh, for one last time, say that is where we're going to call it. Thank you all so much for listening, and we can't wait to see you all again next week. Bye, nerds. Bye, bye nerds. nerds. And bye, Ethan. Bye, bye Ethan. Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> we'll miss you. Oh.